Hey everybody, what's going on? Happy Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday here. So I hope everyone had an awesome weekend. Don't be nervous. The stream is starting now. We're, we're all fine, right? Happy Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Who's here? Hey, Spacey. Hey, Key. Disintegration. Hi. Thank you for the watch streak. And Sin, hello. Thank you for the watch streak as well. Listen, if y'all are able to get a watch streak, that means I'm streaming on a more regular basis. So I feel like a little bit proud of myself also seeing these, <laughs> seeing these in the chat. So thank you so much. Saggy, what's good? Hello. Siri, hi. Um, Ken. Kenny, hi. Jaybro. Clovis was here briefly, but I think Clovis is probably gone. And cheers to you, Arise. I have two drinks. I've got a perfect peach tea and some water. So I'm, I'm doing good. Okay, so um, what, what were we doing last time? I Welcome think we back. were going through all of the achievements for Tomb Raider 2 to uh, remastered here. Skills. I unfortunately was not able to get all of the achievements. Um, I knew we would have to be back. And so today I think we're going to probably take a look at all pistols or pistols only. I've never done a challenge like this before and I, I, I'm i really nervous actually because I don't know how the challenge runners do it, you know? it's It's... I'm nervous, but um, we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try to beat the game, probably speed run light, like if I do something incorrectly, in quotes, well then that's okay. As long as it will still register the achievement that I don't know, so we'll have to find out. But um, yeah, so we'll do that. And while we are doing pistols only, I think we will try and get the iceberg or sorry not the iceberg the um icicle achievement there's like if you make all of the icicles drop between like uh what levels are they catacombs tibetan foothills and like ice palace something like that so we'll try and do those two things on a pistols only, and then the last achievement will be complete the game in NG+, and that will have to be a separate playthrough. So that is the plan. Gosh, that was my best time yet. Thanks, Lara. Feel free so to that's the plan, the and, and um, yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's take a little dive off the roof, and then we'll get started, I guess. How was everyone's weekend? Let's see, what did I get up to this weekend? I've been kind of trying to spruce up the place a bit with some indoor plants. I only have a couple, but then the other day I went to the store and went a little a little wild at the garden center, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so now we have more plant friends and I'm feeling happy that they're around. Whoa, I always forget how cool the skybox looks now. It's, it's, oh, it's so cool. Just in time to watch during dinner. Oh, nice. What's for dinner? I actually had a pretty busy day, and that's why I'm starting late. But um, I cooked dinner for my mom and my niece. They came over, and um, it was a lot of fun. So got to hang out with them for a bit, and that's why that's why I'm starting late. But um, let's see. We're, okay, we're going to do new game. I don't think it has to be on NG+, and I think if I'm on NG+, I probably won't be very successful doing a pistols only. <laughs> what plants did I get? Um, I got... I have to think about it now. We got a money tree plant. It's like a cute little tree with like twisted kind of little trunk. And... A rattlesnake calathea plant I believe it's called it's really pretty like when I saw it I thought it kind of looked like I don't know cheetah spots or something very cute plant and then I picked up some little um, bundle of violas because I'm like ready for spring like I want to get out there and make uh, 
my Bartoli's balcony in real life. I might even get wild and plant a lemon tree. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, no succulents. Although I'm not opposed to the idea because, um, I don't know. I'm usually like not the best at taking care of succulents. But I realize that plants need things like uh, food <laughs> and water. So I'm doing much better with plants this year than ever before. Uh, no, it wasn't Home Depot. Uh, it was just a local plant shop. I uh, I meant to actually show y'all some pictures from the day because it's a cool shop. Like um, they have a little garden that you can kind of walk around in. And um, yeah, it's really rad. I think I think if I did uh, get a lemon tree though, I probably would have to bring it indoors like in the winter or something. Like I haven't done proper research, but um, the next plant I'm going to pick up is going to be a jasmine plant, like a common jasmine plant. And I'm very excited for that one because I have like a trellis planter box and I want to turn it into like my own kind of privacy screen and the jasmine will get really bushy so it'll be really cool to have out there. Yo, I'm trying to make the Bartoli's balcony dream real. <laughs> okay. Man, it feels good to be in this game after a break actually. I'm like, ah, the fresh air and the great wall. I also cleaned a lot today because, <laughs> you know, when you have company, you got to make sure you clean. <laughs> oh my gosh, I started like completely going somewhere else. I've got, um, I've got achievements on the mine still and that is like how you kind of get to the guard tower, so that's fun. And also, I, I want to say, if any of you catch me using something that's not the pistol, like if I'm using some other weapon, you need to tell me because it will invalidate this entire experience for me. <laughs> you water your sucks once a week. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I want to get a, a pothos. Or not a pothos. It's, um, how, what is it called? It's called a hot leaf philodendron. And um, I want to put that in the house too. Anybody else? Hello? Might just be the guy up on the top. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Hydrangeas are pretty boss. Yeah, I do have a hydrangea in a pot and I I it's the first time I've had this like the first year I've had this hydrangea so I didn't know exactly how to take care of it But um, I did my best like in the spring fall and then winter I just kind of let it do whatever so I thought maybe it died, but it didn't it's got It's got little buds on it and stuff. It's so cute. Uh -huh. Plants are like so cool, I don't know. I never was much of a plant person, I think, for maybe like a couple years, right? Like over the last few years, but I started getting more into taking care of plants, like outdoor plants. So now that I feel like I am more familiar with taking care of the outdoor plants, that's why I'm trying to now tackle the indoor plant experience, which I've always been very terrified of. <laughs> People love their plants. I can see why. Like, honestly, I feel like Oregon is a pretty great place to even just grow things. Um, you know, it doesn't really, like, snow much. I feel like we have kind of an advantage in weather here, so it feels like a shame not to take advantage uh -huh. of that, you know what I mean? Gosh, I'm just blabbing about plants, but... <laughs> plants are cool, man. 
I think it kind of like changes your perspective on things as well. Like, I don't know. There's something about coexisting with a plant and like co-mingling and taking care of it and stuff. It's like you grow together. It's kind of neat. Maybe you should give it a try, Calmer. Maybe you have the green thumb too. I think maybe I'll start saving my game. Where do we want to do that? I guess home sweet home. We don't need any of this. Yeah, I have an app now too that I'm using, Keith. It's called Todi. It's like T-O-D-Y. And oh my God, y'all. I, I don't have a sponsorship with Todi. I wish I did. <laughs> but um, this app is really helping me so much remembering all the chores and stuff that I need to do. Like, I used to kind of OCD like clean or just like clean when I was really stressed. And so I think having having a little app that says, hey, listen, you did these chores and these chores and these other chores recently. So, hey, you don't have to do that today. Uh -huh. So I'm not like over cleaning, if that makes sense. And it helps so much because then I don't feel like I'm wasting my time doing chores like that maybe don't need to be done right now or like other chores have a higher priority. <laughs> it's like it's a it's a little app that will help the ship sail smoothly. You know what I mean? Like it's hard keeping up with chores. Oh yeah, I saw Benet's new video, Final Fantasy video, with the Ard Ardbert dance. That was pretty cute. Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> Little time I got on my kidding. Though not anymore. So after you. When are we, when are we gonna get the the Tommy guns on our key rings? I understand that Tommy gun on our key ring gang. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be Yo, what's up, Ty? Hey, coach. These doors How are you doing? The right one, the right time to arrive, and then the dagger's blade will honor the hearts. Dude, okay. Lars here is doing some interesting things right now. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. And which one is that? To the sins. Oh yeah, I'll drink. I'll drink to that. Of Marco Bartoli. Cheers. Perhaps not just yet, then. Yeah, I, I, we were talking about that a little in Discord. I was like, damn, you got the practice stick out? That's so badass, because we were talking about that. I um, Gianni Bartelli. I think that would be so Via fun. Caravelli, Venice. My morning. What I cook for Din Din? Oh, yeah, so I made like a... It's like a kind of turkey rice bowl, but it was like a Korean flavoring. And I made some like pickled radishes and cucumber and the works. I think I did a pretty good job. Oh yeah, see that's one that I I feel like I, I have a hard time keeping track of food. Like food, you know, I eat it. I consume food. <laughs> that's my that's my content that I can see <laughs> this food. Um, oh God, okay. But I don't know, like trying to keep track of every little calorie, like what if I want to grab another chip? What if I want to sneak a chocolate from the candy bin, you know? <laughs> I gotta tell the app everything I'm doing. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't really feel like it. So, um, so yeah, chores though, I will fight with Dusty in the Toady app all day. I can't believe he's still ahead of me. It's so annoying. I'm like, Dusty, I've been cleaning all month. What is your problem? <laughs> oh yeah, that's some um, Saint's disappointed, <laughs> disappointed face. It's a good one. 
I don't think I need anything from like any of these levels necessarily because it's like if I'm doing pistols only I just gotta get through the damn level right in theory you feel judged oh my god no what are you feeling judged for not cleaning no listen if you want to clean and this is only if you want to we got a armory full of support like I will talk about cleaning all day. You need some help? I got you. Uh -huh. What's up, Black Wolf? How you doing? Uh -huh. Priority for focusing on med packs. Oh, okay, thank you, Ken. So I don't exactly know where every health pickup is. I guess I'm doing okay for now. I don't think I've used any health packs. And I did pick up both of them in Great Wall. So like, I think we're doing all right. I should save the... Yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty well today. I um haven't been like feeling the best like physically for a couple of days, but like I'm hanging in there. I got my I got my tea and stuff. Oh, it makes you feel <laughs> judged. I see what you mean. It's a very serious face. I didn't really drop that in the correct uh, spots. That's okay. Actually, I don't know if it's okay to do this skip like this because, um, because I couldn't get this to work before. Okay, we'll try it again. Actually, let me save in the middle of this and reload. Because I know it works in the quicksand, but I haven't actually tried the door. Yo, what's up, Lighthawk? Oh, thank you, Keith. Yeah, I'll be alright. I'm always hanging in there. You lost 20 pounds in three months? Let's go, Calmer. That's awesome. Oh, maybe. Actually, maybe I can fix this. Hold on. Shit. <laughs> wait, wait. I can fix it. I can fix this. Uh, okay, that's good. Actually... I can't do this. I can't do this, y'all. Okay. Let me try this again. Let me just, like, try it from here. Okay. No can do. Okay, so we'll throw it, like... What do we say? This kind of works? Okay, that kind of works. So we'll do that, and then... I'll save like this. Okay, we'll go like this. Maybe this will work. Awesome. Yeah, no, no, no problem. It, I, it does, it does feel good to lose like the pounds, the stress pounds, whatever, you, whatever was going on, you know. I feel like I've been doing all right maintaining my weight. I've been doing okay. Okay. Let me think here. We do have some med packs. I think over here. <laughs> the rats are like, they don't know. The rats don't even know, dude.
Yeah, this guy's got like a med. Like, uh -huh. yeah, we could pick this up. And there's one at the end of the hall. <laughs> Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Yo, nice, uh, Siri. You too, huh? Awesome. I want to get outside and start doing some, like, outdoor activities for, mm -hmm. like, you know, exercise or whatever, but, uh, it's just still, still so freaking cold. Damn, dude. So, so you haven't been about that life for a while, Saggy. That's good. Honestly... Cutting, cutting, cutting soda out from your diet is going to change your life. <laughs> like, anybody that is just, like, struggling with their weight, if you're just a soda drinker, if you just cut that out today, you're going to be feeling so much better. There might be a med pack out here as well. Y'all, the piece of purpose of the med pack. <laughs> Was it med? Yes. Uh huh. Potatoes in general, yeah. I wish I could quit potatoes. <laughs> We've been having like s sweet potato. Like sweet mashed potatoes sometimes recently that that's actually kind of good but maybe i could chill on the butter not so much butter <laughs> oh yeah the sparkle water i used to recommend like any kind of sparkling water when this topic would come up in the past um it, it is it's a nice little like if you really need that bubbly fix it's a good bubbly fix you need to cut out soda pop but you can't try it try a sparkly water get a get a flavor that you like you know oh sorry i didn't realize i was still playing in classic i've been actually really wanting to play classic like i wanted to speed run today but i had to talk myself out of it because i have i'm rusty now um because i was doing practice and my muscle memory for um the sidestep is ruined. Oh yeah, nice. Do you have like a little... I don't know, they, they have like those little infuser pitchers or whatever, like... So it's got like the little thing in the middle so you can put all the fruit in it or whatever you're putting in it. Um, is it something like that? I've been wanting to try that. I just have a hard time because if I get berries or something, it's like I just want to eat them. Like I don't want to be putting them in. Oh, she was throwing her flare. I don't want to put them in the water. I just want to eat them. But cucumber, I feel like I could sacrifice. I have um, a little bit left from dinner that I didn't use so maybe I'll like what do you do just like slice it up and put it in a <laughs> I don't know like how much do I put in my water cup yeah what's everyone's like favorite fruit like if like your s tier fruit and then compare that like what's what's your f tier fruit like I'm kind of curious okay I'll go first so S tier when they're when they're good cherries are S tier raspberries I think are also S tier lemons count lemons count I mean I know it's sometimes you know lemon is accompanied by other things but lemon is good lemons lemons are good Durian is S tier. A durian fruit is a bit interesting, correct? It's like, 
and I don't exactly remember, but I feel like I saw one perhaps at an Asian market and it's kind of got like spikes or something, some kind of funny little texture. And it smells a bit odd. Yeah, it smells a bit odd. So how do you even prepare that? Do you just like slice it and you're good to go? I never really tried it before. Grapes can be good. Man, the last time I tried grapes, they were like cotton candy grapes or something. They were little, they tasted like sweet something. I was like, damn, are grapes really this sweet? Is there a med pack out here or just like a guy? You gotta use the technique. Oh, to get into the shell. Oh, I see. Okay, he just dropped this, but I don't need that. All right, I'm gonna use a med. What's the large nine? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. I don't know if I've had a persimmon before. It's kind of like a big grapefruit or orange or something, correct? Pomegranates can be good. I don't think I don't consider pomegranate S tier though, just because mm -hmm. I find it a pain in the ass to like prepare. Yo, what's up, plug? How you doing? Um Blueberries are very delicious. Watermelon is pretty damn delicious as well. Not a guava fan. Oh yeah, I think guava might be up there. I mean, might be down there with like things I don't like. Oh yeah, Saggy, maybe we should like make a strawberry patch or something this spring, summer or whenever strawberries are. I think they're like a summer fruit. We'll just be like, all right, I don't know, get what, like five strawberry plants, put them in a little thing, just like see how they do. Nothing too, too wild. Oh, I wonder, Calmer, if you've tried a real cherry though. <laughs> because um, I too had to sometimes take that cough syrup and didn't like it at all. And so I thought, pretty much all of my life that I hated cherries. I thought, oh, I don't like cherries because this is disgusting and I don't like maraschino cherries. But oh my God, Washington cherries? Bruh, delicious. Don't drop anything useful for me. I'll give guava another chance. I would. I don't believe I've had legit, legit guava. Maybe I've had crap guava. Okay, I gotcha. All right, I can I can uh, accept that answer, Calmer. Thank you for elaborating. <laughs> I'll allow it here in the stream to die. Uh -huh. So persimmons are just really unique in texture, huh? No one can really explain it. It's it's a its own thing. Yeah, I remember we were, we were like talking very briefly about the Kern's guava juice. Dude, after that after that conversation and we were talking about like all the little debbies and stuff. I was like at the store the next day and we walk in and I'm like confronted with the entire little debbie discography um at the <laughs> at the grocery store. Uh damn like there's a lot now i don't i don't remember there being that many but i saw the star crunch that y'all were talking about there's a bunch of other stuff too little debbie been busy <laughs> the nice uh nice night eh 
comfy. What's up, angry brownie? How you doing? With purple grape cough syrup? Ugh, gross. Yeah, I don't know. My grandparents would buy, like, Robitussin or whatever. <laughs> Shit is disgusting. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this the old setup way. Maybe that will work. One. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll try it again. Robitussin's so gross. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know. Like, a lot of these, um, a lot of these things are just, they've got a lot of, like, dyes and synthetic kind of, um, flavors. So it's like, yeah, of course that's not gonna taste good, you know what I mean? It's like, yuck. But what, what do I know? I'm just a hippie. I'm just a hippie living out here in Oregon, man. Hey, what's up, Richard? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's going pretty well. I haven't tried to, um... I haven't tried to do anything much. In terms of, like getting other weapons out because like i'm not allowed to do that right i knew this was gonna happen i just knew it okay we just won't bother with that guy then Wait, what was the medicine, though? I don't think I had anything like that. It's like, medicine that you want to take? Listen, I'll tell you a story. <laughs> I had some severely chapped lips when I was a kid once and didn't even want to use chapstick. Like, that's how afraid of things I was. <laughs> so I remember one winter... I had very, very chapped lips, and I was over at a friend's house just trying to ignore it and, like, do kid stuff, you know, like, play games or whatever. And I remember her mom saying, Sweetie, you need to use some lip balm. Your lips are chapped. And I was like, what's that? And, you know, she's trying to explain to me. I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't want to. And then this woman is, like, literally chasing me around the house with the little chapstick. She's like running after me I'm like i want to go home stop chasing me with the chapstick adults be tripping <laughs> your lips are chopped right now um you got lip balm handy i use the um i have the little sun bum one here somewhere but I lost it. What'd I do with that thing? Oh, I found it. It's, uh, what's this one? This is the uh, Swan Bomb Groove Cherry. Oh, see, speaking of cherries, I even got my little, my little Groove Cherry. So, um, TLDR, I'm but cured of being afraid of chapstick. Thanks for listening to my story. It's just a gut feeling that um, maybe you are wrong to look there. It's all about Vaseline or Aquafor. Yeah. Giz. Listen, if it works, by all means. I don't. I don't like the smell or taste of Aquafor Vaseline. It's no more direction than a simple through and out. I used to do junior lifeguard. That's awesome. Did you have any, like, w stories? Like, did you have to save anyone? That good old petroleum. It's cheap and it's quick, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Because you're too lazy to buy a chance. We are searching the right place. God, I don't know. There's so many like different brands of things. You know, chapstick included. It's like, where do you even... Sorry, lip balm included. It's like, where do you even start? I, I've been buying these little sun bum ones pretty consistently. I think this is my like second pack of them. I like that they come in a three pack. It's like cherry, uh, pina colada, and like peppermint or something like spearmint. It was just a little fun summer thing. That's cool. My my aunt used to um, do lifeguard and stuff. She always said she had like kind of a fun time, fun, a couple of fun summers doing lifeguard stuff. Honestly, I didn't think I would dig the pina colada, but it's actually, I think it might be my favorite. I like the pina colada one, that one's good. All right, well I don't have to worry about pistols right now because I ain't even got them. Can you eat lip balm? It's not advisable, but I suppose you could eat anything if you tried hard enough. Hey, Stealth, good morning. How are you doing today? I made everyone do the fruit uh, tier list. <laughs> just, just letting you know. <laughs> oh yeah, H2O would be a great idea. I'm gonna um, just get in the plane because they're gonna be shooting me. And then I'll take a drink. Yeah, I put cherries in my S tier. I can't remember what your whole tier list was, but I remember it was something absurd that you hated raspberries and I was shocked and appalled or something like that. Okay, there you go. Cheers, poo poo. Okay. I did grab my guns, right? Yeah. <laughs> raspberries, I just like, I don't know. I have fun, fond memories of raspberries too because when I was a kid, my grandparents had a little garden off the side of their house, and there were a ton of raspberry bushes, so I always um, would, you know, run out there, run around out there, and steal them. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time, like since I was a kid. Now instead of stuffing like my fingers into the little raspberries and making like weird raspberry hands, I'll like stuff a little piece of chocolate from like a chocolate bar into a raspberry and then just eat the entire thing. <laughs> it's uh, quite good. No. Oh, Duh, I gotta pick it up. Yeah, it's like, um, if you've ever had just like, in general, chocolate, raspberry combination chocolate. It's usually dark chocolate and raspberry, which is like one of my favorite combos of anything. Um, you can just kind of, I guess, intensify the flavor with real raspberries. <laughs> Oh yeah, this doesn't work, I forgot. I haven't really been checking in on the speed run, actually. I have no idea, like, what the strats are even, where they're even going. Right, so we can't do this. We can take care of these guys now. Let me shut this off real quick. It's like old granny candy. I remember uh, my Nana did have, like, the little tins with the actual fruit candies. They'd be like little raspberries or blackberries or lemons or whatever. Those were awesome. Uh -huh. They're too high in sugar. Oh yeah, I guess they are. I love sugar. So bananas I like a lot. No one's found a quap here yet. Man, that's 
That's wild. There's so many, like, stairs. I feel like we could do something. I'm gonna have to, like... I was in here already, like, probably week one. But I haven't been back since to, like, try and experiment with this weird wall. Bit of a shame. You miss the sour Altoid flavors? Sour Altoid. Hmm. I don't think I knew that was in existence. Okay, all these guys are gonna have med packs galore. Bonk. go ahead and just like use this <laughs> grave of the fireflies i haven't seen that movie is it a good one? Oh yeah i appreciate y'all recommending some films over the weekend i must admit since i wasn't feeling well i got sucked into watching stuff on youtube and came across the ants canada channel uh, along with three million other plus individuals and uh yo this dude built a massive like well i i guess there are differences in a terrarium versus a vivarium so that's a thing but he built this like thousand gallon i don't know what it was it was huge and made like a real rainforest in there <laughs> made a little biome and there's like spiders and ants. We got to watch the Chronicles of the Dark Horde of ants. <laughs> it was very interesting. I, w I would check it out if you if you like that kind of thing. If you're interested in seeing small things up close, very cool. Oh, it's a very sad anime. Oh. Okay. Man, maybe I have heard of it. Oh, it's an old Studio Ghibli movie. Huh. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen that one. Is it worth a watch, do you think? Oh, that was weird. I'm um, not going to pick those up. If you want to get feels. Okay. When I'm in the mood to just cry my eyes out. I'll do that. I oftentimes wonder, like, what the most popular Studio Ghibli movie is because I feel like there are so many fans, you know, but what are they the fans of the most, you know, like, what's the favorite? You think Spirited Away is, like, the most favorited? You like Princess Mononoke most? Princess Mononoke was the first one that I had seen. And, uh, I feel like that movie messed me up at the time. <laughs> but I do remember it being quite good. I have not seen it in ages. Oh yeah, Kiki's. Um, actually Kiki's might have been the very first one I saw. I kind of forgot about Kiki's. I used to watch Kiki's on TV a lot because it would always come on. That's a cute one though. Have y'all seen um, Castle in the Sky? That is one of my favorites. Hell's Moving Castle is a great one as well. I, I do like that movie. You had Totoro English dub. Oh, that must have really messed things up then. When you're so used to hearing like a particular VO and it's like slightly off or it's wrong. Oh yeah, Nausicaa? Nausicaa and uh, Porco I need to watch. Ponyo's cute. I feel like Ponyo is like as adorable as you can get. Like that movie is way too cute.
I keep thinking I need to go get secrets, but I don't. <laughs> like, I don't at all. <sighs> On your legs. Hey! <laughs> yeah. I do, I do too. I, I was having some genoa. Genoa. This week. Beyond Journey's End. What is it? For Freeran? Freeran? Beyond Journey's End. Oh, okay. So these are on. Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, Anime Weekend Atlanta. I feel like y'all have brought up Tokyo God Godfathers to me in the past, and I did write that down. I like have these things saved in like a little notebook, but I just recently got the notebook back out, so now I can actually start going through it. It's on Crunchy Roll right on. <laughs> Cute. I hope uh, Kiwi's doing well. Okay. Oh, this guy. Oh, he might drop either flares or something useful. I'm trying to think of like what was the last anime I even like sat down to watch. Cause I do like anime, I just like haven't really sat down and gotten into a series in a in a minute. So I guess we could try this thing. This line. Her work is stressful right now. Aw. Wishing her lots of good vibes and good luck with her um her work. Okay, flare skip. Yeah, that is a thing. There is a set up here uh, Macy showed me a couple days ago. Since I don't know what that is, I'm going to be just dropping it like it's hot. Let's see if we can do something with this. Not close enough, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can, like, hold on. I had this theory. I'm trying to figure out, like, how. what is the distance to be able to, like, swan dive here? But it's, she's, like, not registering the swan dive. Oh yeah, okay, so my theory was right. So, yeah, I, it's hard to explain what it's even called. It's like a little, like, uh, I call it like a chest bump, because Lara starts doing the swan dive, but at the last second, she like kind of just hits her chest and like stops, and like her feet kind of stumble. It's like, Ch -ch -ch. it's like really weird. Um, so I guess as long as you can meet those conditions, um, the setup maybe isn't as precise as, as it seems. Oh, well, that's fun. So actually, I've been wanting to try that in a couple of places. Um, just theory crafting, <laughs> like glitch hunt today on glitch hunters. So if I see somewhere cool, maybe we'll try it again. We will see some work. We'll, we'll be there in catacombs. Okay. I think I'm good. Like, I think I've just been using my pistols. Yeah, something like something like that. Hit detection. That, that's a that's a cool way to put it. Exploiting the game. <laughs> you, 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 Hush, Hakusho? That was, um, that's a throwback. I, I only watched like a couple episodes here and there, but I think Saint's seen like all of you, you, Hakusho. 
There's like a cool like ghost girl. Or she's like a spirit woman. Every time y'all type Prairon, I think of like Sister Freed or <laughs> Sister Frito Lay. I'm gonna roll back and see what's in here. If it's just a secret or what. I have not seen this before, so why don't I answer your question? Bye. <laughs> hey. Right, you've been you've been dying to ask this question. Okay. So you're gonna be speeding speed running to murder underworld. Okay, so Croft Manor's on fire. But also AOD. Okay, I see. Do I know how to make any sense of the tricks? Easier? Like get glitching through some of the walls in that game. Um, unfortunately I cannot help you with uh those games. <laughs> Only because I don't run them myself. Um I want to say that AOD maybe has some similar principles to classic, but I genuinely do not know, so I cannot help you, unfortunately. But um, check SR.com, like there might be some guides, for sure. Yeah, that was like a weird surgical view, I haven't seen that before. Should we just climb the ladder? Like, I'm kind of just in the mood to climb this. You were having trouble with AOD tricks. Yeah, gosh, I wish I had more insight for you because I would love to speedrun Angel of Darkness. Um, I love that game. But uh, yeah, I haven't actually given it a whirl. I know the setup is a little bit odd for the game, just in general. So I imagine trying to set it up for speedrunning is like a behemoth in itself, like just getting the game running. So I'm wishing you lots of luck if you decide to um, venture into AOD speedrunning. But um, if you already know Underworld, you're going to slay it. Yeah, you must have watched Plastic Rainbow's run. Plastic Rainbow have been working so hard on that run and like traveled so far to show it to us. It was like amazing. I did, I did. God, you know, I don't remember exactly what I said during that run, but I guarantee you I made some obscure reference to something else in the game that nobody understood. <laughs> Except for like, you know, the AOD homies. I was like jibber jabbering about people are like, what the hell is she talking about? It was nice of uh, Plastic Rainbow to um, allow me to, to join the, on the couch, I was asked. Uh -huh. Yeah, Caddy. That's funny, I found a voice clip of caddies uh <laughs> like yesterday i meant to message him but um i think he's at esa right now i don't know i i uh need to catch up on the schedule because i fear that i may have already missed uh the very important runs that i meant to watch the the whole weekend really got away from me uh -huh. That's way easier, gosh. Okay, we won't climb the ladder this time. Does ESA upload runs to YouTube like GDQ? Um, I don't know actually, do they? Maybe it's a bit um yeah because i know that um the crew that we have work on the youtube in all aspects they're usually pretty like quick i think like you know i always expect like oh this run will be up in like 
like, you know, a, a week or something, but sometimes it's like three days. It's like, oh shit, okay. What do I know? Speaking of YouTube uploads, I um, have the first part of Tomb Raider 2 remastered coming up next for the YouTube. And uh, again, thank you all so much for subscribing to the VODs channel because it just means that someone's finding it cool and someone's finding it useful and I appreciate that a lot. So yeah, that's next on the docket. I'm probably gonna finish um, doing all the chapters and stuff maybe after uh, the stream tonight. Okay. So, Quop works. We just don't remember if it works in the same way. Is that how this goes? I think I messed up the qua. But that being said, man, the qua really feels uh different. Like it's hard to explain. Like you used to not really be able to see her quicksand under the door, but now you can kind of like watch. Like it's a bit it's a bit bizarre. Yeah, I was pretty close. I just um messed up the timing a bit. There's got to be, like, a, so, some way to crack this code, because this isn't really consistent, and I can't quite figure out why. Yeah, Macy probably does the quicker strat. Well, actually, I don't know if the quicker strat even, like, works in... works in, uh, this... Okay, this should work again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like you can just watch it happen the whole way. It's so bizarre. I think the setup is just like somehow slightly imprecise here. It's like bizarre. It's like you can't, pr I can't press the inputs too hard, but I can't like press them too softly. I'm on controller, so it's like there's a weird balance. It's a very weird balance. Okay, this might work. Oh shit. Hold on. Oh man, I have to redo this because I got her like sandwiched in a weird part of the door. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. <laughs> the door sandwich. Yeah, I was like trying to like correct my turn and then I just <laughs> like did not work. Yes, a sa a sandwador. How are you doing, Lee? 
Yeah, like, no, the last quap was fine. It's just I am silly and didn't hit the door in the correct spot like I was supposed to. <laughs> okay, this is... This is quapping. Let's just not mess it up this time. <laughs> Ooh, okay, gosh, it's weird. Oh, you know what? I didn't press action. This entire quap is like psyching me out so hard right now. Whatever time it is. Yeah, let's see. It's a almost 10 p.m. for me. This should work. Okay. <laughs> We're getting like one input at a time. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did add that. There you go, Ken. Using the commands. Now is there anything... Okay, hear me out. We could take another dip in the pool because technically some guys do spawn and they do drop med packs. I just don't exactly remember what gets them to spawn. They might, they might just not. Oh yeah, it doesn't really look like they're going to be spawning. Hmm, oh well, we don't need it. Y yeah, it spawns through like some actions that I have completely missed the um, the thing for. Loki dreading 40 fathoms because I keep thinking, would it be wise for me to do the fire burner puzzle? Like, I still can't remember how to freaking do it. Brother Chen Baking. It's okay to chunk med packs. Okay, if you if you think it's all right. Damn, so wait, we never figured out if this was a thing. Or I guess we did discover that it's nothing, but like, I still want to get up there though. Damn, damn it. Uh -huh. Ooh, shiny. Oh yeah? It's hard, huh? I know, I'm like lo Loki also oh, dreading TR2 and G+. Plus. It's gonna be tough. I'm gonna take a stretch break while this uh, cutscene plays. Me. I'm gonna refill my I water. Saw bright lights around me. That was gunfire. I think it was them who got taken away by it. But you are my guide. My path beta to a next incarnation. I have done my time here, haven't I? What are you doing here? In Marco Barton? Nothing. I, I led righteous life. Here, for reasons rooted only in necessary evil. As my father was before me, when he bombed Gianni's vessel deep into these waters. Now I'm here, uh, was here, to prevent his son from salvaging the Seraph. The Seraph? You not know my life's work well. You sure you're not here for them? Their Jackanory days are well over. They want the Seraph to unlock a malignant treasure we contain in our monastery in Tibet. Since being stolen by imbecile vagabonds centuries ago, we've been without key to it, relying solely on cleansing of our prayers to keep it subdued. Then the occultist Gianni Bia acquired it. Trouble we knew. He breathed life back into ancient belief, one not to be stopped by any amount of head bowing. And now again, it is here. Marco, infected with madness. He has violent mind. But not yet the power to satiate it. So, we reach for our weapons once more. The true detox of evil. Where can you be taking me? I thought this was my big break. Best changes after this rest. Oh, I 
I think her hair physics are probably similar. It's a little bit different now, but um, she definitely had some some cool hair stuff going on. Yeah, I actually you reminded me I didn't take my vitamins today, Calmer. She. Thank you. I know, like, oh, he does come from the whole of nothing. You're right, it's just a set piece for him. Damn, okay. Wow. He's uh, got, got a little special cubby, I guess. Good for him. What about this guy, Sharko Bartoli? Pow, pow. Just kidding. <laughs> I love the sound effect there. <laughs> Alright. It's, uh, it's time to explore the deep ocean in the 40 fathoms. <laughs> I'd say Lara's shaking in her boots, but she is not wearing boots uh, <laughs> or shoes at all. Yeah, I don't remember what mine is, Calmer. It's either like 2,500 or like 5,000, something like that. Yeah, she'd be, like, so cold. I don't understand why she doesn't at least have, like, swim shoes on. When I was a kid, we always had to wear the little water shoes. I didn't like to always wear them because they're kind of weird, but definitely protects your feet. Yeah, looking at the little tide pools is fun. Yeah, like this is it's really a good idea to wear those kind of shoes. <laughs> Can protect your feet from a lot of things like sharp shells or like jellyfish, you know, etc. Strange beach stuff, litter, trash, um, hazardous materials, that kind of thing. Well, yeah, you know, Ouija, they got to put her in the classic, uh, you know, the classic wetsuit. They're like, they were like, listen, lads and lasses, you know, anyone that worked on the game. They were like, listen up, team. Lara looks fabulous in a wetsuit. TR2 is iconic. Let's, uh, let's put her back in the wetsuit for AOD. <laughs> That's my, my headcanon for how that situation went down. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh. Should you bother shooting this other guy? I don't even know where he is, bruh. He's like... He had just harpoon ammo. So, like, but at the theme park, like, was it a thing there? I guess I don't really recall, like, if the kids were wearing water shoes at the theme park. But I, I can understand, like, why they would, you know, also do that. Or, like, the water park. Mm. 
Does she? I don't know why I thought she's... Oh, you know, you're right. You start on the boat. Honestly, I remember that first section being, like, super pretty and, like, really cool. <laughs> yeah, even though it's, like, so filthy at the water park especially. Okay, zero nine is large. Come on, I pressed it in time. Don't tell me I didn't. Lara got roasted. Whoa, 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 Wanda, what's up? Cheers. Take a drink right now. How are you doing, Wanda? How's your weekend? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Tommy gun on my key ring, gang. Chi Chi's by my desk, like, I think she wants to get up here. Okay, hold on. Come on, Chi. I don't think she's been feeling the best either. Like, so I'm gonna let her just kinda chill on my desk. Okay. It's okay, can relax. <laughs> she's funny. Okay, did I pull the switch? I must have since I am turned around. Okay, I did. It's getting, she's getting comfy. <laughs> Saint was like, how come you're not using your desk for calligraphy practice? Cause like I had all, I had my pens and stuff out today cause um, my niece was over. And then I look around and it's just like cat beds all over my desk with like pens and other shit in the way. Like I actually really need to clean my desk area. <laughs> uh. You're gonna play some video games tonight. You're gonna talk talk to your best friend Bideo James. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. I think there's maybe one or two more weeks of frosty weather before it gets warm. But when is spring? Like mid March? Something like that. Bonk. B -b -b Bonk. You know what? I think I might just raise the water. Because, uh, I don't have a decent lineup for the things. <laughs> well, that might be a different kind of uh, experience, calmer, but sure, yeah. <laughs> Rain three, return of the rain. Ah, oh, okay. I bet there are. Um, I bet things grow well though. Like if there's lots of water for the plants, maybe, maybe there's a good balance of sun and rain for them. Rack is an interesting level. I think it's got a pretty good, um, it's got a pretty good look, you know? Cause like things are all upside down and stuff. So I can understand liking that level. Uh, Venice, I used to absolutely love as a kid. Um, but now, well, you know, with the remaster, I think maybe I could learn to love Venice again. Oh dear, what? Where did I go? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, got really confused for a second. I thought I was in the other room, and then I was looking around like I have no idea where I am. Yeah, and the glass, the upside down glass, like, oh man. I um I would love to see like I don't know first person perspective of the wreck. Man, that would be so cool. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Mar Maria Doria in the speedruns always like you get there and just like. Ugh. <laughs> At least I do. I can't stand the level. It's like not that fun, I guess, in the speedrun. But it's a very beautiful level. We'll say that much. Ooh, I almost died there. I, I was like super spooked. Okay. Hello? What? Oh, my controller like disconnected and then freaked out. I decided to turn off the windows sounds today so that y'all wouldn't have to hear the like <laughs> or whatever it is you do um okay so how do we want to tackle how do we want to tackle this I kind of want to kill this guy but Uh -huh. Twitch ruined Dino Dance? Wait, what? It looks weird, but I don't know why. Like, it just looks kind of slower or something. Yeah, like, isn't it like a little bit faster? He's still standing still. Now he's just rocking out in place, you know? They're just trying to tell us we don't need to go anywhere to be able to rock out on Twitch, you know? Whoa! Dino dances everywhere! DS4 is in Dark Souls. Oh, Wanda, you sweet summer child. Um, <laughs> The DS4 is the PlayStation 4 controller. <laughs> Dual Shock 4, I guess, is probably why they call it that. If I had to guess. Yeah, no. It, I actually, when you say it like that, it's like, well, why wouldn't they call it, like, PS? Well, I guess the whole thing is called the PS, so you can't call it that. So the DS is, like, how you refer <laughs> to the controller. So listen, you gotta get the PS and the DS to play your game. Okay, so I could grab stuff or I could just do what other speedrunners do. Let's go this way. Yeah, the Elden Ring expansion looks phenomenal. I, I honestly wasn't sure like if I would go back playing Elden Ring because I mean it's been a while. I thought I saw everything I needed to see, but after watching the DLC trailer, I tell you what, I'm gonna have to get back in that game. I'm pretty sure I shot this guy at least two times, so I'm gonna go. Okay, I shot him nine times. I think. Okay, I can't believe I didn't even screw that up once. Let's go, Laura. Let's go, ma'am. Okay. There's an Odachi in the DLC. Oh, nice. I remember you talking about that. It's like the differences in that versus the katana. Yo, what's up, action? Yeah, 14 shots was the magic number. For sure. 
I was like, uh, pretty good for pistols only. Like, I'm bad at that with the regular guns. It's a big touchy. Nice. Oh, yeah. I think that's completely fine, Wanda. It's like sometimes you just need some time to absorb what you, you know, what you played, the story that you, like, learned about, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with, like, reveling in that ending, you know? However you um, ended the your first playthrough. Because, you know, you had a good experience, and the game will be back whenever you're ready for it, you know? Never played a mage in Souls game. Uh, mage is, uh... I guess mage can be kind of fun. Um, there's some really cool, like, spells in Elden Ring. We kind of did, like, a mage, like, samurai build. It was... Yeah, we did some kind of, like... What, what was that cool ability? We had the Moonlight Katana and, like... Yeah, this, like, wave of the butterfly. It was, like, something really badass. I don't remember. <laughs> it was really cool. I'm thinking of the... I guess I got some hero on the mind. I'm thinking of... It was a laser? Yeah, it was some kind of laser beam. We also had some, like, uh... Some kind of mist. It was, like... Fuck your shit up mist mm -hmm. that you could just like poison mist. poison mist that you could like put somewhere <laughs> yeah i guess poison would be the more appropriate term <laughs> um not fuck your shit up mist <laughs> night mist yeah that's it that one was really cool i killed like half our bosses yeah i don't remember which bosses i took a stab at but I beat a couple, Saint beat, probably most of them. I beat a lot of them though. Well, there's a lot of freaking bosses, right? So, you gotta share the load. Dude, I'm trying to think of that one guy. He was in the jail, like one of the first jails. I feel like that was a tough fight at the time because holy crap we were just so under level <laughs> we did another um another playthrough after that one so that was like the mage samurai and then we had like a sun priest or some kind of priest sun bro pe priest dragon priest that's what it was it's pretty badass as well <laughs> What's up, Cactus Bagel? Share the load. We watched Lord of the Rings not too long ago. It's like a holiday movie. It's like a, it's like a movie to watch at the holiday. <laughs> Sometimes when I go through the speedrun strat like go through the game with speedrun strats but like slowly i feel like i'm just randomly like whipping out a party trick or something like now if you watch closely i can whip through this like door this trap door now watch for my next trick well this isn't really a trick i'm gonna late grab Don't need that. Nope, don't need that. I don't need it. I don't want it. Oh, I bet there's a lot of cool weapons to try. I think, like, for the most part, I have the most fun with, like, a katana build. Um, I used to be like a heavy hitter and that was the way I would go through like a Souls game. I think when I played uh, Dark Souls for the first time, I probably went with like some kind of barbarian build with like a big axe, something like that. And then I used the, um, the halberd for the whole rest of the playthrough.
It's like slow, but also satisfying when you get a hit. Shit. You know what? I'm just gonna, um, actually, I said I would do more party tricks, so I better try before I drown. The washing pole, yeah. That was fun times. Get that from... I think you can get the washing pole... I forget where you get it in DS3, but... That was fun. Might be, um... You do get a katana from the guy behind the Firelink Shrine. Or, I guess it's the side of the Firelink Shrine. The halberd was fun uh -huh. in DS1, for sure. And then eventually had the mask of the father and like some kind of robes. That's what I was rocking. My look. I don't think Saint and I really cared that much about like stats when we were playing Elden Ring though. Like we were just like, oh, does that look cool? Let's just put that on. <laughs> Let's put that on her. She's gonna look fantastic. The Lothric Straight Sword. It's a good one. There we go. That was a good one too. I did a little bit of pyromancy uh, on like one of the last playthroughs I did for DS3. Um, Saint and I were doing a co-op and I was like going through on a pyromancer. I had this big huge hat on. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. I don't know why we never finished that run. I think Saint's file got corrupted or something. We like couldn't finish the game. Yeah, Big Cat Logan <laughs> size. It's probably Logan's hat for all I know. I don't remember what the set was called. <laughs> yeah, it's like fun setting on fire. It's like um, when I first tried to play Skyrim, I like, I don't know, I, I like chose an archer or something to start. I, I didn't know. I was like getting into gaming again. I did maybe 10 minutes of the archer before I, I completely restarted the game and went mage, like a uh, fire mage. <laughs> Setting stuff on fire is fun. Oh yeah, do you have to get down like an NG something or other playthrough? Oh yeah, that scuba diver sucks. Not a fan of that guy. It, he super sucks because he'll just like shoot you with harpoons and you're like trying to strategically get out of the water. It's like, bro, come on. <laughs> that reminds me of, um, I guess, Avatar. My brother used to watch that show a lot. Can she just, like, jump through the fence here? No. This guy is bad news bears. Can you drop anything? No. Oh, the live action one? I haven't seen it. I've only seen like episodes here and there because um, my brother was like showing my niece the the show and everything. Saints over there um hacking into the matrix. Yo Dante, what's good? I hope you had an awesome weekend. Welcome to the stream today. 
you're rewatching Avatar. Is it like a show that you have like super fond memories of? Okay. That was like me. That was like me trying to watch the Netflix Ghost in the Shell. I was like, this is pretty, but I don't know. I couldn't get into it. I don't know if I just wasn't giving the show like a chance, but um, I really like standalone complex. And so it's like kind of got big shoes to fill. <laughs> Not my uh, major kusanagi. <laughs> nah, but the art was like fantastic. Like it looked really good. I um, rewatched the movie like last month or something too. It's such a good movie. Shoot! I got got. There's no fixing this. Time for the deck skip actually have to do something again because I don't know where I saved last. Oh, I have to do this all over again. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> we'll do it faster this time. You like cyberpunk? I uh, have a couple of days in cyberpunk i think i did three streams of cyberpunk but um i don't know i i wasn't vibing with the main character and that made me sad so i stopped playing v doesn't really have a personality yeah i don't know like I didn't give the game maybe like enough hours to make like super fair assessment of V, but I just, from what I experienced, which was probably at least like 25 hours or so, it was kind of like, well, I don't know. I haven't played Oni, but I've seen, I've seen the game, Zayla. I wondered about it actually, because it reminded me of Ghosts in the Shell, and I'm like, what is this game? <laughs> it's okay. I knew. I knew you meant Motoko. Dude, how is he setting me on fire again? This man is on a roll. Oh yeah, because I'm not sure uh -huh. if there's like a Ghost on the Show video game. I didn't I didn't think there was. Maybe there's one. But I if there is, I never played it. So like something like Oni, like I could see that being like a <laughs> supplemental game for the fans, maybe. Yo, what's up, Autumn? How are you doing? Uh right, so the deck the deck's a bit different. Oh, one a, a game that died. Weird first person game for PS One, huh? It's a little heady for kids and teens. Yeah, it is. But um, so great. <laughs> but it's so great. You're hoping you can get the speedrun trophy? Oh, the, um, get it done in six hours trophy? Nice, I believe in you. You can get that done. Oh, we get to play around in the deck now. Um... It's uh, five hours for TR1. 
Right on. I think it was six hours for this game, but I'm not sure. Oh, actually, I have the information. Oh, no, that's information about NG+. Plus. I don't remember. I might be able to access it, though. What's it called again? Is this have speedrun in the title, or it's like, um, six? This one. I only play for sport. Okay, so yeah, finish the game in less than six hours. Yo, okay, so TR1 is, I guess, a little bit easier. Not easier, but like, I guess, harder in that regard. <laughs> So six hours for TR2 and TR3. I mean, I think they're bigger games though, right? Okay, TR1 is a little bit easier. I feel like with um the new utility for TR1, uh, it's gotta be pretty cool, right? Okay. Um, that's like mostly okay. Okay, so all you have to do is just go up to the wall, two hops back, swan dive into it, let go of the thing, and just do it. Nothing too fancy. We're still doing good, right? I don't think I've... I don't think I have done any other accidental guns or anything. Oh, actually, I'm gonna have to really stop for a second and slow uh -huh. down because this whole next bit is like... not using the M16 on these dudes. I don't want to get anywhere near them, though. Oh boy. Can Lara shoot from here? Well, it doesn't bode well. Alright, I think I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. I think we're gonna head down the waterway, and then... I'll, like, save my game and just try to approach them from the other side of the building. I don't actually know if I can get in this way. Oh, wait, wait, I can. Okay. Ooh, that spooked me. I thought I was somewhere else. Okay. So we might have to deal with like one more flamethrower guy eventually. We got one of them. There's just one more left. Head on down to the safe way. No thank you. <laughs> Never shopping at safe way again. Where is this dude? He sounds like he's over there. <laughs> Sir? Sir? Oh shit. Where was he? not looking forward to this pistol only. Aw. There's a no meds run trophy. 
Is there? Uh -huh. Maybe it's a hidden one. Oh, do we get a cutscene? Oh yeah, yeah, we do. She's got the seraph, my friends. Now she's got to get out of here. We got to go to Tibet. It's so fun that we can watch these again. Okay, NG Plus doesn't have med packs. I thought NG Plus had med packs, like the secrets were med packs. So I have here on my notes that it says all medi packs have changed to ammo, but that um, items that are given when all three secrets are taken are now changed to medi packs. So I guess if you collect all the secrets, maybe it will give you like a special med pack just to like get through it. And then trap and obstacle value damage has increased, nearly lethal or lethal. All cheats don't work on New Game Plus, fair. Oh, monks are aggressive from the start and marking. That really sucks. <laughs> but at least you can use whatever weapon you want. And flares are reduced to 30 seconds. <clears throat> Among other things. Yeah, I guess I, I can't really comment too much on TR1 or TR3 because I'm just not as familiar with the games in general. Um, like, I'm familiar with the games, I just am not familiar with all the speedrun stuff and the games in relation to the remaster because I have not played them yet. But um, I, I'm trying to currently decide if I want to play Tomb Raider 1 or Tomb Raider 3 casually next. I like, or like Golden Mask or something, I don't know. I just keep playing this one because it's like my comfort zone. <laughs> my safe zone. <laughs> TR3 is love, TR3 is life. Sorry, TR2. Actually, TR3 is life for some people, for sure. But TR2 is life. The life for me. Okay. Don't need this. I actually booted up Classic yesterday, last night, just to go into this cave. I'm like, man, like, where is it, though? <laughs> it's there. It's just hard to see. TR3 is such a hard game, like, I think that's why I'm nervous about it, because I know I'm gonna get in the game, I'm gonna be stuck in the jungle for three hours, or more, probably more. It's like, oh, it's a behemoth. You might as well. I mean, if you're gonna have fun doing it, use the speedrun strats. I mean, that's why I play the game this way, because it's just fun to, like, do the party tricks. <laughs> it's just fun. Okay. So, pistols only. I'm hesitant to get on the skidoo because I feel like if I ran over anybody with the skidoo, I would that would probably invalidate pistols only, like, don't you think? I don't know for certain, but I uh -huh. think maybe I shouldn't get on the snowmobile skidoo. Golden mask, please. I'd be down to play some golden mask. I, I want to get into TR1, though, for sure, just because I love the music in TR1. It's such a vibe, the whole game. The mercs aren't that bad if you give them the old run around. Uh -huh. Hey Prosper, what's going on? Skidoo-less achievement at the same time sounds like a good idea anyway. It's true. I did get this one. Oh, wait a minute. We're in, Tib we're in Tibet, so I need to go and get the... um. 
the icicles, because I didn't get those. Like, I messed them up. But I kind of like to bet on foot, like... Is it enough to make a vehicle list category? <laughs> Probably not. But it's cool. Walking around and seeing everything. Cistern and yep, cistern and net was mine. Uh, mines I I dislike, so I understand. Um, I understand your frustrations there. <laughs> I'm always afraid of um missing the button for med pack because it's so far away from me <laughs> so far away i skipped the seven icicles earlier are they down in the first part i know i skipped them like last playthrough but why is this jump in particular so weird oh did they oh an anniversary i see Maybe it's just a late, late grab. Maybe I should just like run and jump for it. It's like she, ha you have to get her little foot to walk off the edge like, just barely. Wow, look at Tibet. Look at all the sparkles. I'll never get tired of looking at these. It's like such a good addition. It's glittery. It's sparkly. It's positivity. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if there was a Chinese release or not, but actually, Pathos, now that you mention it, um, Geeky was showing me something. Hold on, let me like, let me save my game real quick. Geeky was telling me something that, like, if you go to the menu, let's see, you, like, go to the menu, um, where is it? That's the controls. Sound. Right, English. So, I didn't know this, but, um, the menu changes. Like, you see the logo for, like, starring Lara Croft and all of that? You... It like changes based on like what you're looking at. So this is like English, Dutch, or sorry, German, uh, French, Italian, Spanish, etc., etc. Like some of them are the same, but um, this one it's like different. Ja this one's Japanese, I think. Uh, yeah, I was looking to see if there was like a Chinese one since you brought it up, but I can't tell. It's all happening so fast around me. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I don't know. You'd have to see if any of those languages check out. You think TR1 has more logos? That's fair. I, I didn't think TR2 had that many logos, but I have seen all of those logos, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, it's like a nice little tidbit. Geeky released a video on like a couple of Easter eggs throughout the... Um, throughout the games and stuff. So that was one of them that I thought was interesting. Okay, it's simplified Chinese. Oh, there you go. I mean, I don't, I don't know um, how popular the PlayStation 1 was, I guess, in China at the time that this game came out. So I guess that would be like the question to ask is like where, what regions was the PlayStation 1? popular in or released in like I'm not totally sure hey Frankie bonjour how are you where's this freaking guy going okay he's having a fun time
Oh yeah, you're just getting started with your work day. I hope it goes well. Whatever you, you gotta accomplish, I'm sure you'll crush it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Have ever played the game with other challenges? No, actually. Like, it's really wild. This is the first time I've ever tried to do um, pistols only, even. Like, I don't know. I'm just not much of a challenge runner, I guess. Um, but I'm, I'm open to trying stuff out. I'm just doing this for the achievement in the game. But I, I'd be down to try maybe doing this for some of the other games if it's an achievement, too. I still really like this room. I commented on it last time. It's just like such a vibe now. I feel like, I don't know. They did just so, so beautiful in this level. Yeah, it's because, well, I think most enemies die in 14 shots, but the mercenaries feel particularly tanky, so they might um, be a little bit tougher. Yeah, they might be a little bit tankier. But I'm not exactly sure of the shots. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't realize this is what spawned the tigers. Or, sorry, the um, snow leopards. It's fine, I'll be back for them later. Leopard speed boost. Yeah, they were kind of hurrying me along. So funny. <laughs> Did you imagine the leopards are just strapped up, ready to take Lara out? have almost gotten to the end. Oh my god, it's 25? <laughs> For the burst pistol thug and 23 for the Uzi thug? I did not know that. That's a lot. <laughs> That's so silly. It was that bonk, Lara. She's an ice princess. When was the last time y'all went ice skating? It's been a very long time for me. I remember it being kind of fun. Only been once. You haven't seen this level without the skidoo? Oh yeah. Um you might have you might have gone to bed when we came here on the achievement run. Potentially. Oh sorry, Ouija, I was actually mixing your username up with Spacey's because you're both like very vibrant green, so just ignore that. 
<laughs> it, it happens when I'm in a chat with someone too. Like, um, I think Sleepless and I both have like the kind of lime green, or I guess y'all have like lime green. We've got the kind of lemon lime green. That's been my Twitch user color for like since the beginning of time. Uh -huh. Okay, this is actually kind of scary, and I didn't really think this through at all. Okay, don't get on his skidoo. <laughs> Just leave, lady. Okay, so for the icicles and stuff, do we need to actually do a couple of uh, other things here? Yo, what's up, Xenon? Hello. How you doing? How you doing, Son of White? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I understand, Luigi. That's kind of how, how it was for me, because I grew up in Florida. For the most part. And, you know, it's never snowing. <laughs> like, I have to go to, like, a special um, sports center arena where they have that kind of thing. You're kind of going there soon anyway. Yeah. I just couldn't remember... How to get there. I think it was through this way. Oh, when we get back to the hut. It's so wait, it's not down there. Or it's not like around the whole thing. I don't know why I thought there was an icicle there. One is down there. Okay, then yeah, I need to go. I need to get down there. Gotta get down there, let's move! Oh, shit. Wow. The day on I shouldn't be alive. <laughs> I should probably reload that. Yeah, she had like, full health. I meant to like, do this little number. Not, I don't know how I survived that. Ah, uh, you weren't able to go. That's the last GDQ I went to, actually, was the one in Orlando. And it sucked, like, a lot, because I got so sick, I could barely do anything much, like, for the whole week. I had to cancel, like, host shifts and blah blah blah. It sucked. Do I need this key? Probably not. Uh huh. We skated on the lake that one year. Oh, that's cool. Gosh, you just reminded me of a really weird memory from childhood. Um, I um I was like born on the east coast, like northeast of the United States, and so. It would snow where we lived when I was a kid, and, like, I remember one time at my grandparents' house, like, their whole pool had, like, frozen over, and my sister was trying to ice skate on the pool, and I remember being so scared that she was gonna fall in. Like, I was too little to go ice skating, but I just remember her, like, just no fucks given, just, like, ice skating on the pool, like. <laughs> Invincible. I was like, holy shit. Oh, you were there in like March. Yeah, like I remember getting back from that trip and then it was like February 
And that's kind of when things started like hitting the fan. And then I just never like went out again um, to any events or like public events. Lever at the high school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget about that lever because it's so well hidden. I don't think it's quite as well hidden with the classic graphics, but now I'm curious to see. Yeah, it's like a lot more noticeable. For some reason, I feel like the texture blends in so well with these. Poor guy. Okay. So we said, you said there's four in Tibet, I think. Okay, where am I now? Right, I'm going back this way. Going back home. There's eight from Tibetan foothills. Oh my god. And that was like only the first one I got, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, like you're looking around like, where do I go? I don't understand. And then all of a sudden, Lara's just like, boom, going through the ice unexpectedly. It's a funny moment. It's a very loud sound effect as well. This is like the scary haul for me because for some reason, if you take the skidoo through this section, like you open the door and you're like, you got the skidoo, you're barreling around the corner and you just like full speed ahead. If you do that, like <laughs> you will blow up. So that one caught me so off guard. <laughs> it's like, what? How did I? How did that happen? <laughs> this is a med. I feel like I'm doing like good on meds. I haven't really checked in a minute, but let's see. We've got eight small and two large. It's like pretty good. It's definitely way more than I don't really have. <laughs> yeah, speed boost and you die. <laughs> Boop. Okay, we'll walk to the edge, then tap backwards to jump back. I will save my game because this jump is horrible. If I do a runny jump, I'll make it just fine. See, didn't have to worry about it. Well, honestly, sometimes it'd be like that. It's like, no meds? Well, you can do it. Just gotta save after every tiny little thing. I try to save after, like, long sequences. So it's like, if I've traveled kind of far and I'm like, don't want to redo, like, a whole section. Sometimes it doesn't always go my way, but, you know. Yeah, tier 2 I think is hard because, like, the enemies shoot back at you. And I mean, I know they do, some of the enemies do in tier 1, but I feel like the majority of enemies in tier 1 are all animals, so it's not like they're really, like, firing back at you. You just have to kind of outrun them, or outgun them, I guess, since they have no guns. Oh, poor cutie. It's like... Buried in the snow. Seven icicles below the cliff river cave when I did a shortcut jump over the gap to the hut. So I need to go down to the cliff river cave. It sounds like a club or something. Hey Ken, meet me down over at the cliff river cave. We'll get some brews. Get a couple of beers. I don't even like beer. <laughs> but we'll get some. All right, 
We're going down there. Oh shit. Y'all. Why do I have to like spawn y'all though? finished business. Do you not like that one? I actually don't think I have played on a finished business. Or if I did, I just do not remember it at all. Alright, I guess I'll just, um... I'll just, like, dive in here and figure it out. Dunk. Oh yeah, they want you to do like that weird little thing. Oh, it's like more boring in atmosphere, I guess. Because I think the Egypt levels are pretty cool in um, tier one. At least if I'm thinking of tier one, I might actually be thinking of the very end of tier four where you're like climbing this huge pyramid. I think I'm thinking of tier four, and it's like kind of spooky outside. It's like, it's like storming or something. Oh yeah, was I supposed to um hang from this thing? <laughs> okay. But I guess, like, there's still the Great Pyramid in, uh, TR1. Okay, I don't think I took any damage. I think I just, like, I think that was fine. Yeah, that should be three. Okay. So that's four for Tibet. So we're good, right? Or you said there's, um, eight total? There's like all these. Okay, these are the last four, I guess. Right. There's a lot of um. There's a lot of these actually. <laughs> okay, we just got like a couple more. Yo, what's up, Danny? Hey, Aries. Thanks for the drink reminder again. Cheers. Are y'all staying hydrated? Oh, the Epic Games debacle. I I understand. Um, but they're working on a patch. I know it's not like out yet, <laughs> which sucks, but they did say they were like working on it so all right i think that's all of these and i don't think i got any damage taken because i didn't see lara's health bar move so so hopefully that will be good enough um right I, I hope and pray for the great sidestep patch. My god. I, I am not excited about using R1 for everything. Is this my last achievement? It's like my third to last achievement, I think. Oh, mother! Do, 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 do. Bird. 
thought you were not around. <laughs> well, as soon as they post an update, like, I'll try to mention it in the Discord, like, at a first moment's notice. I just, uh, I'm really not sure... I would say, Prosper, for this achievement that I'm currently doing, uh, it's like the last, I don't know how to even word this, like, you know how uh -huh. some achievements require you to just, like, do a little challenge, like, the, the rest that I have to do are, like, NG+, plus and, like, this one, pistols only, and then the icicle one, so, so the regular challenges I'm mostly all done with. I find it surprising there was no, um, physical version of the game, but, you know, it's, they're releasing it on a lot of platforms, so maybe it's just, like, not doable. These guys kind of suck. Let's see if I can't, like, surprise them from the rooftops. If you just kind of like stay on the guys uh -huh. they can't do as much like just get in their face uh -huh. irregular challenges yes that's a lot of, lot of guys oh, i might have commented on this last time but i do like their backpacks like they i don't know all the backpacks look so cute now oh man i wonder how the backpack um collectible is doing i haven't checked in on it in a few days I can't remember now if the um, deadline was the end of March or the um, beginning of March. Oops, you daisy. Dude, what the? Okay, gotta handle that better. Hey, what's up, Cake? Uh, not much. We are doing a little Tomb Raider 2 pistols only. <laughs> I think you're maybe meant to get on one of these or something. He's a menace on that thing. Get off that. Here we go. I know I will not be joining you on the skidoo. Ah, jeez. Reads weird without the Rick. Oh, are, are you watched that show? Well, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. I uh, haven't watched an episode in a very long time. Okay, do I remember how to do this? I think you just... Bloop. Okay, so... I think I killed these. Oh, right. So when I did Tibet on foot before, I had to stand in like a kind of certain spot for these guys, but I don't know how good the spot actually was. I think the better spot was like on the right side here somewhere. Like somewhere up here, maybe. Because I don't think they can like get you up here.
by all means, like, take your time, gentlemen. We're in no rush. <laughs> Thanks, Cake. Thanks for watching three streams in a row. I think I am trying to settle into a schedule of sorts, and I think Tuesday is the day we start the, the stream week. I don't know. Yesterday I was a blob. I had a permanent case of the Mondays. Hello, please. This way. They did change Dino Dance. It's more of a Dino. It's more of like everybody do the dinosaur. You know what I mean? It's like a little different. It's not as hyper. It's more like -ner -ner. they're trying to groove. Damn y'all are tanky. Now you're a little sad. Aww. Everybody rocked out dinosaur. Like, it totally looks like that. I've <laughs> never, like, walked the dinosaur. I don't remember what the lyrics are. <laughs> Yo, what's up, CCS? This is Tomb Raider 2 starring Lara Croft. She's in search for the dagger of Sheehan. Lara Croft must race against time to stop an Italian cult from obtaining the dagger, the legendary dagger of Sheehan. Will she make it there before Bartoli? We're about to find out. I guess I could see Thriller too, maybe. I'm just gonna think of the little dinosaur song. I don't think people will get too upset about it. They'll probably just leave it. Although, I still don't understand the change. Like, that being said, I still don't understand why they decided to change it. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> Looks like a freaking Pokemon. Pa Listen, Power World's hot. Pokemon's hot. He looks like... I don't know, he looks kind of like... He's kind of mad about something, but he's like still rocking out anyway. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh yeah, I meant to ask y'all something about Mario, kinda. So, um, I found some books. They were... I found some books in my stuff again. I, I um... It's like a choose your own adventure book, um, but like Mario Brothers, like choose your own adventure. So I wondered if y'all wanted to do like a chat plays, <laughs> choose your own adventure, Mario, choose your own brother. I flipped through it a little bit um, and it's my mildly entertaining. Sure. Y'all would be down. I'm not exactly sure of, like, if I would get in trouble by Nintendo for, like, showing you this book. <laughs> or what. But, um... You know. I don't know. I thought maybe it'd be kind of a fun... Maybe, maybe like, a bonus stream or something. Like, if I'm... Wanted to play something. Oh, I don't think she'll make this, actually. Oh, she made it. Now we gotta make sure she don't die. Okay. I'll uh, I'll take a picture of the books and then I'll post them in the Discord like after stream or something like if I remember, and then y'all can see what I'm talking about. I think that they must have been like promotional books for something because I'm pretty sure one of them is like sponsored by Pringles, or, like, brought to you by Pringles. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, yeah, thanks, Ken. Y'all are welcome to join if you like, um, but only if you're chill. <laughs> only if you're cool. Hmm. 
<laughs> you got in there somehow. <laughs> You're cool. All right. Way to go, team. I'm not looking forward to NG plus when I got to battle all y'all, but that's fine. Okay, we're still hanging out pistols only. There's something kind of comforting about playing pistols only just because I don't have to like worry about, oh, what gun am I gonna use for this scenario? Like I'm just using the, the heaven and hell, you know what I mean? Bada bing and bada boom. I don't know, what do you think Lara would name her guns? Would she name them? Pop off in the comments. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh shit. No! I don't know how I fell there. Zeus and Athena. Athena and Athena. Is there a vegan ach achievement? No, but there should be. I think there should be. Yo, what's up, Meow Mix? How's it going? We want chicken, we want liver. Meow Mix, Meow Mix, please deliver. Oh shit, don't target those. Don't target those weapons at anybody, Lara. Is she dumb? I don't think she's dumb at all. In the first Tomb Raider movie, she's like figuring out the most cryptic puzzle hunt ever from her dead deceased father. The planetary alignment. Track. I didn't do anything. Uh -huh. I was just helping you out with this guy. Was that the cat from the Futurama episode? No, there's some there's a dumb scene in one of the Austin Powers movies where Dr. Evil is like singing the Meow Mix song for no reason. I think just cause Mr. Bigglesworth like got a sponsor with Meow Mix, maybe. Like <laughs> I don't know. I'm not allowed to do Austin Powers because Saint thinks Saint thinks my impression of Austin Powers is scary. <laughs> He's like, it's too weird. Don't do it. <laughs> that makes me laugh. He's calling his cat. Okay, you remember Lexi. Yo, Lexi. Nice to see you. What's good? You love those movies? They're so stupid, but I love the, um, I love the little dance intro. Like, Austin's always, like, dancing. It's so catchy. It's like, I, I honestly think the Austin Powers theme song is probably just as catchy as the Bond theme. Like, not even joking. <laughs> it's super catchy. Oh, yeah. You, like, left the movie theater and you were so pissed. You were like, that didn't really happen in the video game. What kind of video game movie is this, anyway? Damn you, Lara. <laughs> I will say that's how I felt a little bit leaving the theater for the second movie. I was like, what did I just watch? I was so excited to see that second movie because I loved the first movie. But then it was a bit disappointing. If I go back and watch it now, though, oh, the second film uh -huh. is so funny. My god. Like, the first movie, I think, is is good movie. I think it's a good movie. The second movie is, like, so bad it's good, you know? It's comedy gold, like, especially when they're, like, in the... I don't know what it is, like, a vault. It's like an active volcano or something at the end. They have like the whole SWAT team there. Some guy like pisses his pants or something. I don't know. It's like a mess. Oh. Shit. Don't do that. He took the one bullet personally. Yeah, it was an accident. I'm sorry. Sorry, monks. Uh -huh. Do we 
want to see how this plays out. Place your bets. Oh, too late. Don't mess with the monk. You don't mess with the monk. Flawless. Yeah, Toby never wanted Lara to be, like, as much of a, like, sex symbol as she is. Toby had other plans, but, you know, bless him. He's the reason she's here today. And maybe the Tomb Raider franchise is in a different spot now, but, hey, who knows? Maybe it'll, um, maybe everything will balance itself out and, like, we'll all be able to enjoy a new Tomb Raider game like soon we'll see I don't I don't know what crystal's cooking up but I'm certainly curious <laughs> don't say that I didn't realize how bad that joke was <laughs> thanks like making fun of me now <laughs> like in a funny way though <laughs> they're not cooking up the crystal I'm just curious what crystal's cooking up like, there, I clarified. I specified. <laughs> go, go, <Liam. laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, I'm silly. Oh, okay. I can open the main hall. So, how does the prayer wheel dupe glitch work in this level? So... The game kind of, um, I'll, I'll show you when we get over there. I'll show you how it works. Right, so when you get into this room, and I'll show you my inventory, just so y'all can see. I have one prayer wheel. Now, typically, you're supposed to find pro uh, five of these. So, you know, one, two, three, and then two on the side, four, five. Um, if you come up here and you just like press action on this prayer wheel then like it registers that hey you've got some prayer wheels but for some reason if you like go into this one from the menu it's like a menu exploit kind of you just you just put it in a completely different way and like you don't have to be quick about it like you can kind of take your time walk up to it get in your inventory and then just use the seraph and it thinks because you have an item that it's just a prayer wheel so i don't know if that completely answers your question of how it exactly works but um that is how it is kind of done so yeah it's a pretty simple thing it's like a funny thing too because i remember the day that the barking glitch was found and, like, the whole community was just blowing up. Like, the excitement was over 9,000. <laughs> because Barking is such a long level. Um, so everybody was very, very, very happy about that. But, yeah, now you know how to do it. So if you're, like, in Barking, you're like, I don't want to do all this. You don't want to go into the swinging traps of doom or anything like that. You don't have to. So there. I've always kind of wanted to do like a tutorial for this game, but I don't know. It's such a uh, intimidating task. I don't know if I would, but I think about it sometimes. Hey, Continent, good morning. Tutorials are hard, it, yes. Um, it's true, they do get outdated. Actually, the first YouTube video I ever posted online and it's not public, publicly visible because it's very outdated, but it was something like, oh yeah, 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 thanks, Ken. It was like, how to download your Twitch past broadcasts, <laughs> like whatever the hell year it was, like 2014 or something. Uh, it, it was my most viewed video at like 8,000 views. <laughs> I was like, whoa people are watching this stuff and now of course it's severely outdated but it's just like funny
Yeah, those were the two icicles that I forgot, by the way. Oh, you know what, still? She does go to a monastery. I think in both movies, she, like, goes to, like, hang with the monks and just kind of, like, re recharge and rest. So, yeah, you're right. It would be back to barking. <laughs> This is where Lara hangs out on the weekends. They don't mind. She's got a pass to the pool and everything. Oh, maybe these are the ones I missed. Hello? Where is the snow leopard? Hello? Oh my god. That is real weird. Okay. So, let's see. These are here and here. One of them fell. And then this one didn't fall. Okay. Done and done. So that's four in this level, eight in Tibet, and then there's what, like, two or something in Ice Palace? I dropped some med pack. I didn't know that. Uh huh. Oh yeah, you getting tired, uh, Spacey? Is this sleepy time? Seven from catacombs. The last three are near the. Oh right, the jade dragon. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, if you're tired, you better get some sleep. Rest, recharge the body. Well, that was weird. Uh, um, what? <laughs> Hold, please. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. What are y'all doing out here? The lepers are so fast. It's like, oh. Oh, that's like kind of cool looking. Just like Lara's little fire pit. I wonder if we went and like took a screenshot here. Oh man, I don't understand why. Like, hold on. Maybe like we can. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't work that way. That really bothers me. I feel like photo mode needs to be fixed for lighting. I want to roast marshmallows. That sounds fun. Oh, y'all. I meant to say. So, like, I'm getting really excited for spring and stuff. Y'all probably noticed. But, um, I saw these things online. They're like... They're like paper lanterns, basically. But they're in the shape of a wasp nest. And so, I guess if you, like, put it up, the idea is that the wasps are gonna think that... 
you know, there's already like a nest there and that they, they don't, they're not allowed to be there. So I, I don't know how well it will work, but some people have had success with it and I might try it because the wasps here in the summer are always terrible. Hey, what's up, Lycan? You need to get dinner? Oh, you're not here yet. Yeah, go get some din din. I don't even know if you need to be fast with this. Well, maybe you do. Actually, yeah, here, I'll try it again. Maybe there's like a bit more of a uh, something else to it. Okay, this looks pretty close. If this isn't close enough, I don't know. Maybe you can't do it in like every wall. Maybe it's like a very specific one? Hmm. Yeah, but wasps suck. They like ruin everything. Like, I try to make it nice and, like, pretty outside so that I can go out on the balcony and just, like, hang out. But, um, the wasps are like, no, we want to be hanging out and smelling all your plants and stuff. It's like, leave me alone. So, yeah, anyway, I'll let y'all know how it goes, like, because I'm going to probably order them soon ish and then put them up before spring so that when spring finally rolls around it's like the the fake hive is already established so we'll see is citronella any good against wasps um i i've heard that it can help but i don't think it's like super effective unless maybe you um do something else Oh, did I forget some in catacombs? Hold on. Oh, I might have messed it up because I loaded into this other level, but we'll see. Right, right. The Jade Dragon Secret. Where is that? I'm thinking... Gold is there. Oh man, the jade one is so far away. Hold please. Isn't it like way over there? So yeah, I gotta like open up the Yeti Hotel and do all this. It's my controller again, probably. No. So I gotta go get the mask. Okay. We gotta be spending a little more time in catacombs than I originally thought. are so fast. <laughs> it's like always an unintentional leopard speed boost. <laughs> Aww. Oh, I was thinking like, oh shit. Did we miss one? We did. But yeah, I'll let y'all know how my experiment goes. But I am uh, excited to see the results for sure. For sure. <laughs> the leopard clip. 
maybe. Yeah, it's like there's a, there's a lot of things to check out now that you can do the little flare thing. I love the smell of geraniums. I don't know that I am great at taking care of geraniums though, because I did have one about two years ago and it um, didn't do so hot. Yeah, wasps, not the leopards. <laughs> yeah, they like to burrow in the in their little it's like little burrows next to the building. And then they just try to hang out there. There's some kind of a flower growing outside the building as well. I think it's my mom looked it up as it was some kind of like Daphne, but oh my gosh, it smells like so strong. Not necessarily in a bad way, but when you, when the, um, the wind hits the flowers, it's like, whoa, very, very perfumey. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to accomplish with this jasmine plant that I'm on the hunt for currently. Maybe not quite as pungent. You can't stand the smell of jasmine. I love the smell of jasmine, it's so good. But, um, I don't know. I wonder if some jasmines maybe uh -huh. smell different to others. I, um, have to conduct some more tests. <laughs> All right, Spacey. Get snuggly. Nighty night. Thanks for hanging with us. Oh, that's fair, Jacob. I I sometimes will look at things and realize that it, it you know, the smell or the touch of something or the sight of something makes me think about something that I don't want to think about. And so I try my very best because sometimes you can't avoid those things. Like, you know, you might just be passing a garden and there it is. It's like, sometimes I just try to associate like something else with that. And I, and I just keep trying to get it in my brain. Like, hey, when I see this, it doesn't have to be a scary, bad thing it can be it can be something new and something beautiful dude wh this light peering through is like so spooky yeah give it a try i um i've been i've been trying it and i think it's working i think it is working The door's locked, right? <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I gotta do this, maybe. Oh, I already did it. I'm so silly. I'm, like, looking for this block, thinking the door is locking me out. Alright, let's move our way past through there. Okay. 
Oh yeah, there's gonna be company out here. walking over here in like a freaky way. I think there's like one more dude. Somewhere? Maybe not. Okay. Right, so now we're on our way to the little jade secret. <sighs> Those guys are so mad because I just left them down there. Dude, plant names are wild. Like... The amount of like different species <laughs> of plants, it's mind blowing. I'm not sure where like some plants get their name. I, I imagine that like maybe some areas of the world that it grows like, or the person that found it, you know, yeah, there's a lot of strange a lot of strange names for plants. <laughs> Botanists have a field day, absolutely. My um aunt, or sorry, my, my nana was really into um, botany. She was a science <clears throat> professor. All icicles are cleared. Oh, right, it's not actually up by the secret. Nice, so it's just those two, so we can leave. What's the best what's the best way to go back? Probably this way. I'll have to do like a before and after of like the the porch area because it's gonna be quite the transformation when I'm done with it. That's for sure. Oh crap, I didn't take care of these guys, and I'm regretting it now. guy dropped something I think uh -huh. or not that guy this guy dropped some my pack uh -huh. <laughs> yeah it's 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 not fun like I mean I suppose some people put up like nets and things but then I worry about like wasps or other bugs like settling into the net somewhere and like getting really cozy <laughs> Um, so I'll let y'all know if the paper decoy, the decoy wasp's nest, uh, works out for me. <laughs> but yeah, like, it is nice to kind of craft a little space to chill. Uh -huh. Whenever I do start making it look nice out there, I always want to just, like, hang out there and talk or, you know, make some mojitos or something, just, like, hanging out outside. Uh-huh. Okay, so now we can... Whoa, it looks like different with the door open. Can, wait, can you even do this with the door open? I never really like thought about it. Huh, I wonder actually, I wonder actually if the door is like messing this up in some way. About to find out, I know, I'm like trying here. I think you need the other side that doesn't have the door. Yeah, the door is like kind of ruining everything. So can you do a, uh... Can you do a little thing? I guess maybe it wouldn't be a double jump, it would just be like a... Or it would just be like a roll. Other side doesn't work, I don't think, huh? 
Okay. Thought maybe you could like somehow like get her up there, but no, I guess you're right. Okay, well let's try this again. Yeah, this doesn't look very good. I wonder if it matters though. Like, I guess we could just keep trying on like every little tile until we see if any of these are gonna work for me. She just doesn't even look like embedded into the wall. That's the thing. Maybe you could do like a cross. Oh, that the flare just went packing. y'all seems weird so then what's our what's the alternative we just have to go open the door okay okay yeah exactly can exactly shit oh i'm alive okay I'll this is weird. <laughs> uh, right. Where was I? Not here. The magic pixel. So this is what Satori was talking about the other day. <laughs> He's like, I didn't have a single pixel. And I'm like, damn, for real? Like, are you sure? Totally, totally doesn't exist. We'll walk slowly. Genteely. Okay. I'm in the corner, so let me switch this. Uh, is this how you do it? And then you like, something like that. I might have to use a health pack though, because I don't think I'll be able to survive this, uh, this jump. Oh, well, maybe I could have actually. Didn't really take any damage. Oh well. Okay, Marco. Is there something above these? Shit. Mistakes were made. Especially because I didn't even need to come down here. I don't- I, I probably won't have to use a med pack at all before- before we go, so... That's fine, or whatever. <laughs> gotta get that leopard clip, uh, working. I gotta- gotta lab that out. Damn it! No! I'm not ready to lab it out right now! <laughs> the leopard's like, well, come on! Let's lab it out, bro. What are you waiting for? Don't get me now! God damn you!
Okay, well since there are leopards, should I just... Oh no, I don't need to heal. <laughs> Gotta save the med packs. weird. Hello? Um, boulders? You good or... Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Come on! I was not even standing there. Fuck. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's like, total troll. Silly. Okay, catacombs done. Whew, that was like a long level. Okay, I think we'll do the classic, uh, bell right back, you know. And, uh, I'll leave y'all here with Miss Lara and this very fine bell, I guess. Yeah, that looks good. She's posing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna take a stretch break, fill up my water and stuff like that. So, yeah, I will be back in, like, I don't know, five, ten minutes, something like that. Stay tuned.
All right, I am back. Thanks for your patience, everyone. Um, oh, let's get a Ice Palace going, shall we? Thank you, thank you for the WB. Okay, so there are icicles in this level. Thinking. Jump scare. Oh god. Well, there's a med pack back here that could be useful. Uh -huh. Hello there. Oh yeah. Um. Cheers, Saint. Hey, Storm. Hello. How's it going? And hey, Bob. Hello. Hi. All the icicles are inside the Yeti cave. Okay. Well, then we should be good to leave the area. Y'all will learn to love the new dino dance. Probably. Oh, damn. Crunch. I, I'm like starting this setup wrong so already, so I think I am cutting it at too severe of an angle. Like I don't think you can actually get through that because there's like other shit blocking the way. <laughs> the most nostalgic sound, absolutely. Oh, guys, can you, like, not? Oh, I'll be taking that. Okay, so Yeti Cave, that's like the end of the level, I think. I think it's the end of the level. After the pick, after you pick up the gong hammer, right? Okay, cool. It's like all these little icicles here. So we're gonna have to probably slow down and like kill the yetis and stuff. I think that, um, right. Now, I did trigger the one on the end. I don't think she took any damage, though. But we'll see soon. I don't think she took damage.
We did it. Nice. Okay. TR2 public service. Drop all the icicles in the Tibetan levels without being hurt. Okay. Cool. So we just have to finish this pistols only and I feel like we're gonna be we're gonna be good. Gonna be good. Uh huh. This <laughs> freaking yeti just like see ya. Get in. kind of want to light up the chasm again just for fun just because it looked cool oh never mind i was gonna say i want to go down there and check it out <laughs> looks neat Seemed like it was carried over from the previous run. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess I didn't need to um, do all the extra ones. That kind of makes sense, though. Oh, well, no big deal. We just went a little above and beyond what we were meant to be doing, I guess. Oops. I kind of want to ring the... I kind of want to ring the gong now. Just for fun. <laughs> the little shards of glass. Okay, so the bird might not be that hard. I'm not sure. I'm actually gonna save before bird starts and try to go grab that med pack. Okay. Let's uh, give this bird the old run around. Oh my god, Lara, what are you doing actually? What, what plans have you got, ma'am? She has other plans. She has other plans, make no mistake about it. This might take a while. <laughs> He's coming back. I mean, I could get out. Could I could get down here and like be doing backflips and whatever. It's just kind of like. We got the med pack, so that's good. Okay, ice pass complete. Nice. Now we get to watch the escape scene.
Get in the car, Lara. Be quiet. Got him. <laughs> stole the Lexus. She stole some kind of thick Jeep. Or maybe that's just the resolution. <laughs> It's very poggers. Actually, the poggers dragon. I kind of want to turn the poggers dragon into an emo. Just for fun. Just like a FFZ. I think that'd be pretty fun for the Tomb Raiders to, to use the dragon poggers. an off-brand off-road vehicle. <laughs> Nondescript. Temple of Xi'an will be like too bad pistols only. We'll just have to we'll just have to um you know take our time with the birds and stuff. I mean They've done it before, though. They basically got, um, I don't know if it was sponsored, but they got Ducatis in Legend. <laughs> the Legend Ducati. That's where the Ducati frog comes from. The, um, I don't remember if it's BTTV or an FFZ emote, but there's, like, some little Ducati frogs. Yeah, I think, actually, there's a lot of frogs. There's, like, frog geckos. Frog, golf cart, frog cyber truck. <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot. Okay, so the way that I did this is I just try to, I tried to find a lineup. I think we settled on something like this black texture here. I think it was like something like this. Let's try this. Yeah, this still works. Whoops. I'm just, you know, all of these strats are pretty new, so... The lineups are a bit different. I must have set this up wrong. There's a strat for this now. <laughs> Is it a visual? The way that I did this before was just kind of climb up here, get Lara up against this back wall, and then I like, I put the camera somewhere. Oh, maybe it was this texture? It was one of these textures. And I can't recall which one it was. But yeah, I, m I might not have seen it. Maybe I can just like... Yeah, something like that. It's not like super precise, it's just weird. You can be lined up manually like this. Oh, but there's an easier way. Okay, yeah, maybe you can link it to me or something. Oh, I can check it out after stream, maybe. Unless they're doing it in like current runs, and then I'll just check it out. Whoa, it's weird. I feel like Tomb Raider looks like a first-person shooter right now. Dude, you can see Lara's little nails. Okay, girl. It kind of looks like she has... 
She kind of looks like she's rocking square nails, but they're like a little bit pointy on the one side. Weird. Oh man, that's so strange. You can see her little nails. You can't see her little nails in the classic. If Lara was going to paint her nails, what color do you think she would paint them? <laughs> like, basically, uh -huh. or it uh, scraped the back of Lara's backpack. Hot pink or red, you think? Need <laughs> some of that Temple of Xi'an red. <laughs> Yeti white. Should, should we get the Yeti French tips or something? <laughs> Maybe she get like a little jelly manicure. Gotta keep it natural, cute. <clears throat> yeah, the springs are pretty unforgiving sometimes. Like, I've definitely messed up there a bazillion times. I still haven't um, worked this out. Did I work this out? I don't remember now. I was, I was, yeah, I was trying to like figure this out. Okay, it was like that. Weird. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what Ken said, Ouija. Just gotta hold forward and then on that last jump you can do like a little little fake grab and you're, and you're good. You're up there. <laughs> you think so? Oh man, it's like actually some of the some of the shade names for makeup I don't understand either. Like um there was some nail polish collection I remember seeing that was like, uh, I don't know, like the nail, the nail shade was left on red or something, <laughs> like something really stupid. Like, God, the people that make up the names of nail polish and stuff must have a field day in the, in the, in the meeting. They're just like rattling off any pun they can think of. <laughs> it's like so funny. There's definitely been some bad makeup names, for sure. Okay. Yeah, keep it in mind if you're- if you find yourself, once again, in the Temple of Xi'an. Okay. Honestly, I don't mind doing Temple the way that it is here, but going through the whole level for everything else is, like, rough. It's a toughie. <laughs> also, I hope you're doing well, base station. Welcome. <laughs> you once saw makeup called Urban Decay? That's like the name of the makeup brand, but yeah, Urban Decay has been around for a, a long time. I believe the company is owned by L'Oreal now. Don't quote me on that, but I think L'Oreal owns Urban Decay now. Okay, oh right, I like set up my own little thing here. Okay, bam. And this doesn't look right, actually. None of this looks right. Let's try this again. I think we'll make like a little save here. Uh, yeah, this corner glitch does work. 
to like kind of adjust her like this. Whoops. I think I was supposed to hold roll for like a little bit longer. Yeah, most of the glitches work. Uh, just some setups are wrong now. So, like, um, in theory, you know, we could probably do the quap and rig. It's just that we haven't found a new setup for it. But just as an example. Yo, what's up, Remy? Remy's here. Say hi, everybody. Remy, say hi to the chat. He can see y'all. <laughs> You think Temple Xian is your favorite? <laughs> it's definitely like a whole vibe here in the Temple Xian. I like all the lighting and the colors and it's like, I don't know. I, I feel like Tomb Raider 2 does a really great job of making red and green the beautiful like complementary colors that they are. It doesn't ever feel like annoying Christmas. It's just like red and green sophistication. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, this level is very, very long. I do find it daunting as well. Not, not right now, but just like when you're trying to do 100%. Alright, I don't think y'all are ready for this cult ritual that is about to go down. coffin dance music? What does that sound like? Can you explain it to me via text? Not looking forward to this one. Well, I am. Yeah, I take it back. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm scared. Looking forward to it, but I'm nervous and stuff. Where is the guy? Doesn't he spawn somewhere? It's like one of these tiles. It does, man. Floating Islands looks so good in remaster. It's it's mind blowing. Looks so nice. Okay, it's time to start our adventure. Time for key uh -huh. skip. Uh, let's see. Do we need the key? You know, I guess we don't really need the key. <clears throat> oh, you know what? We don't need to do anything over at the guard house, I don't think. I, I think so, too. I think this is, like, definitely the most change for the better is floating islands like 100 percent i mean look at the sky like you can't beat that 
You can't beat it. <laughs> the moon is shaped like a potato. You don't like it, Pan? I mean, okay, it is a little potato-y, but I still like it. <laughs> it's still pretty. Uh, yeah, I always wonder like what it's like going for like full jogs out at night because I mean, you know, I've gotten drunk late at night and ran down the street before but I've never like tried to go night jogging, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I always worry that like will the neighbors like be get scared if I'm like running around at night, it's like one in the morning and I'm like s mad sprinting through the neighborhood. What's my drink of choice? Um, I don't really drink that much anymore, but um, I don't know, like, I guess I, I, I could go for some kind of, some kind of gin, some kind of Bacardi, some kind of mojito. I do like, I do like a Long Island iced tea. Actually, I think whenever I go out, like if some, if I order a drink out, it's mostly, it's mostly a uh, Long Island. But yeah, that's like special occasions or whatever. Like I had a drink on my birthday um, last month. Oh yeah, the light pollution in so some cities is like super, super sucks. When I was living in San Francisco, I don't think I ever saw the sky. My favorite sky to date, probably when I was living in Florida and there was like a hurricane that knocked out all the power. So nobody had electricity for like almost a month and um, Yo, the sky after the storm was just so beautiful. Like you could see every star in the sky. There were no clouds. It was just like so gorgeous. Yeah, what's your drink, Luigi? Gin. Something like that. Kraken's the spice rum, right? I'm not a big spice rum person. But I can understand the appeal, because the Kraken bottle is so cool. <laughs> Hi, Baka Gaijin. Yeah, the um, sky is so gorgeous. I love it. Are you playing the remaster yourself? Are you, like, getting excited? Alright, so I'm gonna have to pull the little switch, so let's not get confused here like I do every other time I'm in floating islands. Whoa, because they were scared of the stars in the sky? That's wild. That's actually so wild. I mean, I guess it was kind of like, um... You know, the War of the Worlds broadcast back in the day, like people thought the alien invasion was happening. That must have been weird as hell. Alright, I'm gonna try to just like do this. Bella! Yo, Ray! Thank you so much for the six months! Oh shit, I've made a grave mistake. I made a grave error. But thank you so much. Sorry, I didn't mean to mute my mic. I was trying to press something else. But um, thank you so much again. I gotta think about this room. Okay, I can do this. No big deal. 
It's no big deal. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Team Jacob or Team... <laughs> Is anyone really on Team Jacob? I don't know. <laughs> Is anyone... <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I'm necessarily on a team, but Jacob says some really hilarious shit. <laughs> You're marrying him? Bella. Bella. He just gets mad at her for like no reason. <laughs> Jacob and Edward both kind of suck. Like actually both of them are so mean to Bella. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, Renesmee. <laughs> that whole thing. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I wouldn't say that I was like a huge Twilight fan or anything. I haven't read all the books, but I have seen all the movies. And um, I had a friend, Gracie, who loved Twilight back in the day. She, she, she was like, come on, you have to read the first book. You have to. So I read the first book. It was, it was okay. Whatever. It's okay. The writing's bad. Um, and then I started kind of reading the second one just to like talk with her about it, but I, I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. How long have I been running today? Uh, oh, today or just like in general? Today I've only been live for like about four hours almost. But I started speedrunning this game in 2017. It's My Chemical Romance fanfiction. It's like, uh... Ebony, Darkness, Dementia, Raven Way, basically. No, I haven't. Although I did read somewhere, kind of recently, I don't know where. It might have been on Reddit, because I kind of cruise Reddit when I wake up. Somebody said that Stephanie Meyer wrote like a... Like a smuttier version of Twilight and gave it to her sister or something as like a birthday present. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought it was like really funny. I was like, damn, Stephanie, go off, I guess. <laughs> but, um... I did rewatch Twilight's uh, series over Halloween, and that was a lot of fun. It's just so ridiculous. Well, I, I think you could say probably a lot of people like reading romance novels, but everybody's got different tastes, so we can't really generalize it too bad or too much. They're always in the store, and they're always cheap, you know what I'm saying? Cheap thrills. <laughs> you sliced your last slice, sir. Oh, yeah. Um, Fifty Shades. I did try to read the first book. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I got past like a couple of chapters. That book is actually s written so poorly. Um, I don't remember what year it came out, but I remember it was like the butt of a lot of jokes. Like people kept making Fifty Shades of Grey jokes like left and right. And I'm just like, what in the hell is everybody talking about? So finally I was like, fine, I'll read it. Started reading Fifty Shades of Grey and was just, Dude, it's, the writing is just so damn bad. Like, you can't get through it. You just can't. Oh, I know. That's like a dummy switch. I gotta go back down here. I think we took care of the guards, though, so we should be fine. But yeah, I heard that, too. That it was, like, based on Twilight. Which is hilarious. Oh! Y'all, I had no idea, and I mean literally no idea, that that button made a platform here. Oh my god, game changer, dude. 
I usually just come down here and like hope for the best. You know, the cubby, there, there's no tile here, so I jump from the cubby to like here all awkwardly. You're telling me I can just nicely climb up to the thing like this? That is so cool. That's the dev intended route. Damn, that's cool. Now I know. Did I ever read what Kip said about floating islands? I don't remember. Oh, I might have put my book away now. Dev intendees, yeah. Dev intendees. I believe I can boop, fly down here. Oh, it was good fantasy writing. Nice. I um, I was reading through a couple of different books, but I need to find some some kind of fiction to read because sometimes when you're reading books that are too serious, it's like I get it's like I get a little bored. I like I need to I need some some fantasy land, something cool. Even cooler, you can slide down the slope. As long as you don't press anything, she lands on that platform. Does she? Maybe I'm mixing up the platforms. In any case, what's good, Mitty? Hey, how was the rest of your run the other day? Did the um, auto splitter... Did Epal's auto splitter work out? read a Stephen King novel it's like a little intimidating because I know he's got so many I wonder like what's a good one to start on because I really like um thriller like movies and stuff so I feel like I could probably get into like some Stephen King books maybe it seems to be working awesome run was just okay well, hey, I guess we're still figuring some stuff out with all this business. Oof, I don't think I'm ready for this room, but, uh, you know, we'll try it. I need to do a speed run of this game before I forget how to do everything. I've been kind of trying to practice the hard stuff off stream in the old game just so I don't forget it because everything's so damn different. Don't hit the switch. I just hit it because I wanted these guys to come out and play. Mr. Mercedes is a good one. Carrier Kujo. They're not 600 pages. Oh, I don't care too much about like the length of the book. Because if the book is good, like I'll burn through it very quickly. You know what I'm saying? It's like when a book is so good, you just cannot put it down. What's up, Alda? Winnie Shake. Shaking in my tea tray. It's a page turner. Alright, we killed some of them. I'm just gonna go down there. I don't feel like waiting around for this lost dude.
<laughs> oh my gosh, that actually is a really cute stage name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paige Turner. And she's like a, a sexy librarian or something. Hi, I'm Paige. Can I turn that page for you? Sir? Lycan, what'd you do? <laughs> what did you do? There better not be a spider in your house. <laughs> there better not be a spider in your house right now. Ay, ay, ay. Honestly, so I've never seen it. Every time Saint asks if I want to watch it, I say no because I'm like actually really kind of scared of like the the imagery. Like I haven't seen it because I'm too spooked. <laughs> is, am I being too much of a baby? Like, is it worth a watch? What you, where did you go? Where did you go, Lycan? Did you go to the Haunted House Strip Club in Portland? <laughs> Find Miss Paige Turner. <laughs> still sounds like a great time yeah I like say it as a joke but I have been to a haunted house strip club and it was quite the experience <laughs> Portland's weird little brat right now dude get your little butt over here okay I think everyone has been taken care of Yeah, I had never been to like any kind of strip club before, but uh, a couple of friends wanted to go to this like haunted house strip club just like to do uh -huh. something on Halloween. So, um, I mean, yeah, there were like topless ladies, but it was kind of like going through a haunted house like walkthrough. So like there'd be little scenes set up and stuff one girl who was dressed like she was i don't know a camper or something like a camp counselor escaping uh who who camp crystal lake that's that's jason it was like some kind of scene with jason and she was like screaming she's like help me she was like screaming i'm like i don't know how to help you here's a here's a few dollar dollar bills lady and then she was like Oh, thank you. And then she like grabbed my leg and it made me kind of feel weird. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm I don't like being touched when I'm especially going through a haunted house because it's like that shit is so scary anyway. You know, they got the strobe lights and the fake blood everywhere. So when she touched my leg, I was like, is this allowed? I don't like this. Uh huh. But it was still really funny, just overall, going to do that. Like a hilarious experience that I can say I, I experienced. <laughs> it's very funny. It's like, just give her the money. 
Hey Neo, what's going on? In your two hour long video essay era, were you just like <laughs> patrolling the internet for the facts or what? <laughs> oh man. Shit. I screw this ladder up constantly because I can just. I, I just don't ever remember the sequence of like how many times you're supposed to climb, when you're supposed to stop. It's like I can't be bothered to remember this. Oh, yeah, like the ghost hunter kind of spooky place. I used to get into watching, um,. I used to get into watching some of the abandoned kind of places. Like, people would go in and explore, like, abandoned places. Yeah, you said long video essay. I'm like, well, St. Millions got you covered. YouTube.com slash St. Million. <laughs> He's working on a very long one right now. Dude, Disney tried to get American Idol to have a theme park on Earth? Would I rather explore in the air or underwater? Ooh. Okay, when you say the air, do you mean like I get to go to space or just, you know, as much as I can fly the, the fly zone? I think I'd still probably want to explore underwater. I know it's like pretty spooky, but... I don't know why. I feel like space would scare me more than being like underwater. I know, I know water's pretty spooky. We watched some other movie about like a weird entity that lived under the ocean. I don't know, it had like Kristen Stewart in it, but it was like a spooky movie. Uh -huh. It wasn't that good of a movie. Like it was okay. But yeah, there was like a evil underwater presence and stuff. You watched Saints old movie battles. That's so funny. Saints, um, YouTube has really, like, taken off just since I've known him, like, proud of him. He, wor he works, like, a long time on these videos, he's, like, always researching and stuff. So I always feel like he's, he's putting out, like, the best information that he researched, like, I don't think that I've seen anything, like, half-assed. Oh, is the movie called Underwater? Okay. No, it wasn't Little Mermaid. It must have been called Underwater. Yeah, um, Saint has videos on, like, different... Uh, different topics in the gaming realm and covers some Star Wars things as well. Oh, wait a minute. Do I don't have to... Oh wait, yes, I do have to take care of these guys. Okay, so as soon as I pull this one, these guys are gonna come out. Wait, where am I? Why does everything look so weird? Wait, is this the, um, is this the entrance? Why does this look so weird? Oh, because normally you can't see anything. That's a funny little change that I didn't notice before. Yeah, this room is going to be tough. I'll save before the switch and we'll just try to do our best. I, I hear Nyana like meowing. I think he's like starting to play a little bit more. 
He wasn't feeling well last week. He was kind of sick. So he's like feeling better now. Frog, I'm like, jump, jump, jump. Check out the movie Gravity from 2014. I think I've watched that one. Is that the one with Sandy B? And she's like an astronaut? Or is. No, I don't think it's Julia Roberts. There's another one with like Anne Hathaway, like it's a similar subject matter, and so like I always mix those two movies up. Interstellar, thank you. I think I watched both of them. Yeah, they were they were okay. They were decent. Yo, what's up, Brutal? How are you? Nice to see you. Try to give these guys the old run around. Somebody's gonna drop this little key sometime. These guys are pretty tanky too, like, damn. You have it on DVD? I still have some- I still have some things on DVD. Oh man, the dragon is actually gonna be really tough to be this way. Uh -huh. I don't even know why I'm picking that up. Or this. I'm just looking uh -huh. for med packs. Okay. Uh -huh. Lurking while you wake up. Yeah, good morning to you. Thanks for the lurk. Uh -huh. Dragon time. Uh -huh. You have your men in black VHS tape? Damn, dude. Let's go. I haven't seen that movie in ages. I like the song, though. It's like catchy. It's a, like, they sample another song. I think it's Forget Me Nots. It's like, bam, bam, forget me nuts. It's a good song. Okay, I don't think I'm ready for this dragon. Okay. Just like kind of stretching the hands out, stretching the arms out. You just watched the first one over Thanksgiving. Oh, right. They, I forgot they like remade one with like, what was it? Chris Hemsworth and um, gosh, I can't think of this actress's name right now. I feel like her name was Charlotte in a show that I watched and it might've been. Yeah, Tessa Thompson, thank you. I think I'm thinking of her character in uh, like Westworld or something. Yeah, there is a new Mean Girls. It's supposedly like a musical. I haven't seen it. Shit. No. No. 
Oh, do I not have any med packs? Hold the phone. There's no way. What? I have one small med pack and a dream right now. Oh, oh, oh. that's fun. Maybe I might as well just like stand by this water thing. like a good little stopping point and there is a med pack down here so am i gonna run ng plus at some point yes because i i want the achievement i don't think i'll do pistols only ng plus unless i just really want to have a bad time because it, it'd just be this run but take 10 times longer <laughs> that doesn't sound very fun to me <laughs> Um, no, you, it's like a per game basis kind of thing, so if you, I, I beat Tomb Raider 2 um, for the remaster, so I have access to NG Plus and stuff. Oh shit, yo, what was that? I got insta-killed. Now I know what people are saying, this is like the Dark Souls of 1997. Yeah, enemies have the double health. It would be absolutely miserable. Like, I think we could have a fun time just like weapons galore, sky's the limit. You know, I think we could have a good time. killing the boss like this. It's like more exciting. Shit. I spoke too soon. Oh dear god. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. Lark in there. Okay. Whew. I tried to jump over the dragon. Did not work. Ooh. Okay. Let's save. Just taking a little nap. The dragon. Oh, I didn't even think about the dragon. NG plus. That would be a nightmare. I don't know. It'd, it'd be fun. It'd be fine, but still. Ooh, be careful. You could get killed by that. I better, like, I better get my flare out. I haven't died on the exit yet, but that doesn't mean I can't. Okay. Not bad. I'm nervous. Like, what if something happens and I don't get the achievement? If I don't get the achievement for this, for some bizarre reason, I think it will be that I beat a level. Oh no, that was for different achievements. Maybe it's fine. Check it now. Beat the game using only Lara's pistols. Damn, okay, there we go. There's only 66 achievements for Tomb Raider 2, so the only thing I'm missing is NG+, and I think maybe... I don't know, we could we could do NG+, tomorrow, maybe. Just, like... I think we could get through the game. No big deal. It gives it to you before Home Sweet Home. Yeah, that is kind of interesting, but I guess it makes sense because in Home Sweet Home, you know, you're at the mercy of the shotgun. Oh, 
Oh yeah, sorry. Was someone asking me what controls I use? It is tank controls, what I'm using. It'd be bizarre, like, w without. It'd be bizarre any other way. I can't even get over how much more well lit it is, like, in this level. <laughs> this is so terrifying and close. The whole country club's coming out. Hello? Damn. Somebody was shooting at me. Gosh darn it, I can actually see stuff. I did, there is like a kind of vibe though, it's a classic, it's like sinister vibe, the sinister cult has come back for the dagger. And even Shadow Lara, it's like, whoa. Yeah, the gun, the gun and the jumping with modern controls is like a bit odd. And you need to backflip, like, I don't know. I need to backflip, I should say. Is there like another item back here? Is this just like more shotgun shells? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, like look at the garden. So cool. I still- the only thing I don't like about this garden is I don't understand this grass. Like this- Whose decision was that? Winston is- it makes Winston look bad, you know what I'm saying? The, the grass is not mowed- has not been mowed. I don't think they'll remake Tomb Raider 1, um, especially because Anniversary exists. There's no, like, real reason to... for them. In my opinion. Alright, I'm trying this shit one more time. Yo, Panjam, thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate it. I actually really want to learn Unreal. I got the I got these ideas. Oh my god, he's way too fast. Oh, oh my god, I did it! I did it! Get fucked! I've been trying to do this the last, like, three playthroughs. Dude, he doesn't even understand. See, now we can take our time. We can... We can just, uh... Relax, listen to some music. Maybe get us, uh... A nice cup of tea. You know. Prepare the dinner. Yeah, let's start the bath. You know, let's... Screw it, we'll go for, for a swim. Why not? I can't believe he actually got in there. Like, he's so damn fast. I have not been able to get that working. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll sort that guy out in the morning. I did know that, ironically enough, Ouija. Um, someone took a picture of it uh, whenever they were at a David Buster's and uh, <laughs> showed me. I was like, what? That's wild. Mm -mm. You'd feel so lonely living in a mansion like this. Well, I guess living by yourself can be lonely in general, but when you have like a big place, I guess you could do, you could go wherever. 
All right, should I stop goofing off? No. What else can we do? <laughs> See what's in the fridge? Oh, hold on a second. I didn't notice the texture on this like rug though. That's pretty nice. Very cool. Yeah, exactly. You'll just have staff take care of it all. <laughs> Lara. Lara should have like an entire cooking staff, in my opinion. She just microwaves everything. Alright, can I get <laughs> talking guy? <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's let's open the door and finish this, shall we? It's, it's done. Don't you think we've seen enough? Nice. Yo, what's up Clovis? Oh, uh, thanks for the raid. We, uh... We just finished the game, but um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you had a good stream, Clovis. I'm, I'm, I'm on it, Aries. Perfect posture. Yeah, how are y'all doing tonight? How was the stream, Clovis? I kind of just want to like listen to the song at least like once. So we can chat. I was uh not going to continue the stream, but. Yeah, thank you again so much, Clovis. Y'all follow up Clovis, good good person. Had Clovis on Time Capsule last episode. It was a blast. It was a good time. Damn, y'all got nothing? Oh, you're chasing after PB. I see. You'll get it. You'll get it when you're not expecting it either. It'll be like a big surprise. Can we need raid another um, remaster streamer? Yeah, actually, I think we'll we'll uh, take the party to Miss Cat's channel because uh, she is doing Tomb Raider Tuesday, and um, uh, yeah, go support her and her Tomb Raider endeavors. I think she's on Tomb Raider one, um, but yeah, Clovis Raiders, you're you're welcome to join us if you want. Uh, up to you. We're gonna go see Cat Link. She is. As I said, doing Tomb Raider 1. Um, what can I say for y'all? I think I'll be back tomorrow. And I think we'll do the NG Plus um, playthrough then. Oh yeah, you're right. It is Wednesday. So yeah, we'll do Tomb Raider. Um, we'll do Tomb Raider NG Plus tomorrow. Unless I feel like doing something else. But that's the tentative plan. So thank you again so much for watching everybody. Um, if you had fun, follow the stream. Um, if you didn't, well, have a nice life. Just kidding. Um, but you guys are, are beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you tomorrow. Join the Discord. Follow the YouTube. I'll catch y'all then. Much love. See ya.